That's stupid, and she's stupid, and so I is Demi Lovato. Both. That's why I, I put it. I didn't even give them their own little one I was writing. I didn't even give them their own little dot. I fucking <laughs> just gave, I gave them, them a slash because that's how stupid both of these are. We're right. a waste of I, money. I, it's, it's a waste of our time talking about it. I should have left it off the fucking show, these fucking idiots. Loser. I hope he pisses all over her. You know, I, yeah, maybe that's not- happened. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Greenfield Finance Podcast. I'm your host, Michael Z. Birds Idell. Real quick, before we get started, everyone, can you do me a big favor and smash that like button if you're watching this on YouTube? Leave a little comment, just a thumbs up, great job. Anything you want, a question you have, just put something down there. Also, most of you guys are listening to it on Apple Podcast. If you have time, could you please go ahead and write some kind of review for the podcast? <laughs> for the podcast, it helps the algorithm. It helps other people see it. So, if you're watching it on any platform, leave a review. It really helps. Thank you. To the left of me, my main man. He still got all of his dick. Make some noise. <laughs> Run circumcised, Anthony Shirley. <laughs> What's up, man? And to the left of him, my main man, Johnny, I haven't shaved in four days. <laughs> Risotto! Stop. It's fall. I'm bringing the beard back. <laughs> and to the right of me, my main man, my co-host, he's crushing it on the gambling scene. Make some noise for Moneyline Welsh! What's up? What's up? What's up, Moneyline? Uh, nothing. What's going on? Steelers back. Ben's back. Super Bowl. <laughs> Where's the Super Bowl at? Here come. Where's the Super Bowl? In, in, in uh, Vegas? California. California? SoCal. Road. To LA, yep. so far stadium, yep, yep, so far, so far, so far. That is a yep. sweet stadium. What uh, Ben Cannon? Just throwing he the seems ball down. deep. It was nice to see him actually like air the ball out every once. Yeah, yeah. I guess. and connect. Yeah, you know, that was even better. Yeah, it's nice to see him lost of like seven bubble screens. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah right. it was a nice change of pace. Clay, you know, Claypool was beating on people. Johnson's beating on people. Johnson being back is huge. Juju out for the season. Yeah. You see they just worked out, what's his name, uh, Anthony Miller or something? He's They made the practice squad. Oh, they, they, they signed him, him yeah. Okay. So is that Anthony white? Miller. Is that the white dude? No, he used to play, play for, for the Bears. Bears, Bears? okay, yeah, yeah. he used to yeah. the Texans for like two games this season, and I guess they cut him. Doesn't, isn't, oh, Tampa got a little white boy named Miller, right? They keep a little that white boy I around, know. I think. I mean, everybody has Dude, the Steelers depth at raw receiver is pretty decent. Anyway, that dude. Uh, Washington's kind of hurt, though, ain't he? And then is we, he we, hurt got, too? we got Ray Ray, Ray, Ray McLeod. Ray Ray, Ray McLeod. Ray, uh, white. Uh, some white. That, that dude, white. Who's Where's like, he from? I don't know, but he's been like making waves. Yeah. So. I don't know. I yeah. like Friar Muth, dude. He, he's, he's like a guy. Yeah, you maybe you got to rely ball on the too. tight ends a little bit. Yeah, I mean, give the ball to White. And they got, what's the other dude? They got the other Gentry. Yeah, he's a good they, blocking tight end. He's great. Well, at, he, he caught a couple passes you know, yeah. the other day, I believe. They're just not getting Pat the ball. Yeah. Yeah. White Pat needs the, the, the ball. Uh, the well, they, line looked better than it, they have. They all did, year. and I don't know. Like, that's – they did look decent. I think that's all – goes back to them running the ball and giving the linemen a chance to push off a little bit because, like, if you look back to the other games, I'd say it was, like, 70% or 75% pass. They're literally taking a step back every time, and they knew that. Juju I, I being out is a kick in the dick. People are saying, they're like, oh, it's not that big a deal. It's a big deal. I agree. No, I think them stretching the field made the run game better because Najee, what, first 100-yard game, 100 yard game? Yeah. Yeah, he looked 100 data game? Yeah, it was nice to see a win. Back on track. Back on track. Everybody was saying, you like, know. Denver's not a horrible team. Denver they was came back. Yeah. Yeah, they, yeah, we we just outlasted. I mean, that's them. some Steelers shit. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> they love doing. But that. we hung on at least. They had we the game really like good. wrapped up early in the third quarter, and you're like, ah, let's just breeze this one out. Next thing I know, like, <laughs> it's coming like, down. Oh shit! <laughs> you're like, Ooh. you were at the game. How was the crowd? Were they into the crowd it? I was actually into it. They, a lot of it was more intense than it had been like the first couple. People of were that. nervous, Rex. They need a win. Yeah, they want to win. People don't like. People don't like, don't like when the Steelers lose, man. They no. get that fucking ruins their week. It used to ruin my week back in the day. Yeah. Then I fucking grew up. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Then, I, then the bills start coming in. I was like, oh. 
<laughs> Guess who's not going to pay my bills? <laughs> Old Ben. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Old Juju's not paying any bills this week. Old Black and Yeller. That's funny yeah. you said that because Rose was like, oh, poor Juju. I was like, does Juju give a fuck about the Verizon bill? He <laughs> <laughs> hit it with the line from the Bronx Tale. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ask Juju to pay nobody your rent. Cares. Yeah, nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> that effect, that line in that movie affected every, like, when you watch that when you were a young kid, like when we, when it came out, like our age, you were like 12, 13, 14 years old. That hit your soul a little bit. Like, I oh. threw all my jerseys like, away. Oh shit! Like fuck these dudes. Yeah, <laughs> they, you know, they don't give a fuck a about me. The Mick don't <laughs> care about you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucked up. Not as fucked up. John Gruden is in some hot, hot, <laughs> hot water. Well, he's just done. He's just gonna well, I mean, go crawl under a rock. He's done. He's not. He can't get a job at Kogo's if he wanted oh, to he's at done. this point. I yeah. don't think he needs a job. But I'm that, sure he doesn't. But I mean, he signed a 10 year deal for that. How much? Right, right, but he's like in a six. There's a hundred, but he got 40 guaranteed. I guess. 60 Is it a six year that he, already? Yeah, it's been a little bit. At least the break, five, fifth or sixth year of it. Because they were, they. I moved. mean, John, listen. I know. Gruden oh, John, I don't. I know. I feel Gruden bad. Gruden doesn't, Gruden, money, doesn't need John money. Gruden probably just would rather just be around football. A thousand percent. Like, dude, like that's all he likes to talk about and all he does. Yeah, but he's not even be able to go like. Coke He'll be watching film for you, no reason. Well, that's what he was what doing he when said? he was out of yeah. football. He was just breaking breaking film down in his like room and like reporting it back to like nobody. Like Greg's <laughs> wife telling his wife about yeah, it. Yeah, like dude, like their splits aren't wide enough. Like, what are you? T- what? One of the greatest, one of my favorite characters commentating though. He he was. Yeah, but he's not. I mean, he's not. He is. Yeah, he was great. He's, he he's not crazy. getting any. Get, he's not even like, yeah, a he's high done. school job. He's not getting. Yeah. Now, what, no. I, I, everything he, Gruden said, like you could say, like yeah, that's. Well, let's he, go. He, let's he, go over what Gruden. Let's go, let's go over what Gruden said. Yeah, I wasn't sure everything. So, so Demarcus Smith has Michelin lips. Not great. So yeah. Demarcus too. Smith is what he's the head of the uh, the players player player union. NFLPA. Players yeah, NFLPA. Yeah. Michelin lips. A little tasteless joke. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Bit racist. V- Touch yeah. of racism there. No doubt. <laughs> called Goodell the F word. Well, did he call him a pussy or he something? He called him an anti. Well, well, you, yeah, well, he called him the F word. Yeah. Well, you, straight, you know, up. Right. Yeah. straight up. Yeah, called he him. called him that, and then he said a clueless anti-football pussy. <laughs> that's that's not bad. <laughs> that's that's no, a clueless anti-football. That's, yeah, that's the pussy least. Is, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's. The, the F two, word in 2000, eh. 2021. When did but he this send was the in email? That in I know. I, listen, I know. You I, could this say is all. things like that back then. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. And then, so then he said, uh, he called Goodell the clueless anti-football pussy for making Jeff Fisher keep Michael, Michael Sam around back in the day. Uh, that was the uh, gay dude that came out for when uh, Fisher was coaching the Rams. Yeah. Then he called Obama a pussy for some reason. I don't, I don't know. Uh, yeah, Obama got called a pussy. Obama got he, got it too. he just, he he just caught a fucking ricochet shot for some fucking <laughs> reason. It, it was like at the end, he's like, Andy called Obama a pussy. I was like, They're like, uh, pussy, pussy. <laughs> NFL shouldn't have to draft the things you call gay people. It starts with a Q. I think you're, that's the proper, I, that's what I'm saying. So he, so he said, NFL shouldn't have to. Have to draft cues. Not great, John that, Gruden. But that word I don't even know is bad anymore because I a don't know the, either. But I'm, I'm, I'm not part, saying it on a podcast. I think it's a John. part of the Q. Is <laughs> yeah. it a part of the Q? Yeah, it's LGBTQ. Yeah. I'm learning to, as well. Listen, yeah. I, I I get it, but I I don't think I don't think old John was trying to be political correct when he <laughs> made this not. statement. Yeah, Probably right. Not. He wasn't. Yeah, he wasn't uh, discerning <laughs> between. Uh, <laughs> he made fu- made fun of Caitlyn Jenner. I mean, who has? I mean, everybody got a Caitlyn <laughs> Jenner joke. Yeah. Made fun of women women referees. <laughs> Again, not that bad. That, no, none of. Not me saying those those two. Okay, and then the worst part about this, the investigation wasn't even going on for like for looking into Gruden. They were looking at, at the Washington football team, and they like found. And so the Washington football team got some heat coming as soon as this story dies. They down, like raided their. They their fucking, place, didn't they? Yeah, they yeah. There was all the kinds trainer of, trainer got there was some arrested. weird shit going on, but. They like did a deep dive into these emails, and that's where they found these Gruden emails. But when they were diving into the Washington football team, they found pics of topless cheerleaders at a work event, and like they were getting shared throughout the company. Huh. Huh. So as soon as the Gruden story fucking dies down, <laughs> the football team got one coming here. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, I mean, honestly, private, pri- private, private talk, emails, but dude. You, now, now, the only thing. I, I, there's no way around this. No, they had they they had the, to, the, the, the funny thing they, is like ESPN talking about how the Raiders are handling a situation when all this time he was at ESPN he was working, he was for, working ESPN. for ESPN yeah. 
So like, and a lot it, of people that like around John Gruden now are coming out like, dude, he was like a vulgar dude, like. He's, he's a football just, guy. A That's what I mean. Guy. You say so crazy here, shit here's in my football. Thing. In, fo- in a in the in a football environment, everybody like football is like one, I could honestly say is like race doesn't exist in football, it, or at least it doesn't feel like it does. No, like when like we that. we both play well, or we all played on teams that were half black, half white, and when we were in grade school, and when we were in high school, that it was Greenfield Hazelwood and Green uh, in Greenfield and Alderdice was like. Greenfield he Lake of Place, yeah, yeah, Springfield Hazelwood. I, dude, I don't. There, that's like one place where, like, I feel like race was complete. I mean, dude, look at uh, remember the Titans? You yeah, know what I mean, like, I don't I, listen. I'm not going to be naive, and I'm, I'm definitely not the person to be up here saying that race doesn't exist in football. Right. It does, but it's one of those places where it feels like it almost doesn't, dude. You and listen, like, that's like your fucking boys, dude. You're hugging. Dude. That's you're what I mean. Fuck their black, dude, white, you're, you're orange, ready, purple. Yeah, like, dude, it's we're your a team. Squad. You're ready I, to get yeah, your squad. We're, we're green and gold. I right. think. I think, like, just speaking from my own experience, like that taught me more about life playing football growing up with the Hazelwood kids than anything. You know what I mean? I think it's good for young kids to be involved with sports, especially like football, because like, I, like you said, you can't say race doesn't, but. It definitely like makes you look at life differently as a kid. It didn't. Like, it's Saturday you, on game time. If you're time. a kid that grows up in an all white neighborhood, or a kid grows up in a bl- all black neighborhood, and you guys come together and you make a team, there's some form of brotherhood there. Absolutely. We weren't going to be. The, we we wouldn't have went undefeated in 1995 if Hazelwood didn't exist. Exactly. And like they wouldn't have went undefeated if Greenfield didn't exist. It was dude. We it was literally the remember the Titans. It they was. really need to do a documentary on the 1995 Cougars. <laughs> yeah. I know people would eat it up. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, dude, it's did so, you see I, the picture of him, like, hogging that dude, NASA? Yeah. That's the first openly gay right. player who's, like, he, he plays. Yeah. But, like, dude, like, I, I don't give a fuck. I think, <laughs> I just think, I don't know, like, someone like Gruden who just pops off and talks shit, but probably deep down is, like, a good a yeah. good dude and cares about these guys. At least you hope. You hope that. I think, that. I think there's more, I think it's more that than, like, people that, like, say all the right things, but deep down are pieces of shit. Like, I. Right. I just think, dude, people can get real loose with the way they talk, and I'd say eighty-five to ninety percent. Especially ten the years ago, people have tightened it up. Like it's not, it's night and day compared to how people used to talk and how they do now, across the board. Not even just with race. Uh, Josh Jacobs said, made a really great statement that I liked a lot, and he said, you know, he really respects Gruden, he loves him, and that people can change in ten years. And no I, doubt. And I, I like, and I'm not saying he did or didn't. I'm just saying, like, I like the way he looked at that, like. You know what I mean? That's a, that's I mean, a he let Antonio Brown treat him like absolute horseshit and kept still welcoming him back. You know what I mean? Like, well, Gruden wants to win football games right. too. He's a football guy. Yeah, he's a football guy. He's a guy. definition of a football guy. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, uh, the Raiders, the Raiders' hands were tied there, though. There was well, John Gruden did the right thing. He resigned, made it yeah. painless as possible for everybody, and you know, yeah. And I just. It's one thing to get fired, but he's literally going to be like banished from football. Yeah, he's like, black. He's never, it's he's like the ne- Pete Rose. Ne- it's it's gonna, like a Pete Rose. Yeah, he's not going to get a job doing fucking. He's not doing college. Yeah, he's not refing high school games. Like, not like, a fucking thing. He is done with football. He, like even like I said this earlier, like, high school level, he's probably not getting a game. We might be able to get him to uh... <laughs> even in ten years like this. They're not going to be like right. he's, you, he's you, fucked. Radar, uh, Dude, do you think like you the change? people who are like going after him big time, like they got to be a little bit careful and saying like. Uh, like, what's in your past emails or dude text messages? People save text messages like, oh yeah. Dude, right. Do you think when Gruden came up and he thought like, dude, they got your? He's like, what are you talking about? He, he had no idea. He's like, holy from you know what I mean? Like, an email? Like, I don't, I don't know. It's private email should be private. I but uh, they're doing they're an investigation. Yeah. yeah, they're not. I don't they know. They got he, leaked. Somebody leaked it, and then that was it. Yep, and that that's all it takes. And one, I mean, he the Raiders are like good this year too. Well, they yeah. they were saying like the players seem affected. They were dropping balls. I didn't watch any of that game on Sunday. Like I don't know if they did or. I'm sure a bad if game. the if the players could vote if they wanted John Gruden to stay to be their head coach, I'm I'm pretty sure they would vote. I'm like, yeah, we want this dude to stay. You know what I mean? Maybe suspend him for a couple of games. I don't know. But I think that's more because he's a football guy, not because of his character. Like, he wins Super Bowls. You know what I mean? Like, he's well, they a... like him as a coach. I mean, he's like, you know. That's what I mean. He's a good if coach. If you're, like, in a locker room with the guy, like, dude, you know how much ignorant shit that, like, some people use? Like, oh, I love yeah. saying you're Ruthless like, things. Yeah, right. But, <laughs> but at that's, the end of the that's, day, that's, that's like, you know, I don't know. It's a, people, man, I guess that's just the way it is. Cancel goes. culture. <laughs> he has been canceled. <laughs> yeah, it's over for him. Old Jason Whitlock. So, Randy Moss <laughs> took this hard. And he was crying on national TV 
And Jason Whitlock just ripped him today. Dude. Yeah, he like literally made a video. He was on his this wicket. What's he got a show on ESPN or something like that? I don't know. He has he has like his own. Like I don't radio. think he's on ESPN anymore. Yeah, it's own, like on the yeah. Blaze or some yeah. weird. Yeah. Anyway, he got some. He has a platform. I mean, people is he. He's a conservative black guy. Which you yeah, which you don't see very often outspoken against other black people on on TV or wherever, but uh. He was literally like mocking Randy Moss this whole fucking <laughs> game. Like Randy Moss was like crying tears, like really, like fuck, like he was like hurt by it. And then Whitlock was like, wah, wah, like he has big lips, and literally just mocking, like yeah. fuck. It was ruthless, dude. I was like, Jesus Christ! I was like, Randy Moss is gonna beat the fuck out of Whitlock. <laughs> yeah, you better and stay in your cave. Yeah, Randy Moss will pound Jason Whitlock. <laughs> Isn't Jason Whitlock like a like a big like? Yeah, he used, to be, he used to be giant fat, so I don't think he's... No, he's, he's not, as, he's not as fat as he used to be. Uh, so, yeah, that was that's a crazy story. Touchy. It, yeah. Right, he was just basically saying that, like, don't be so fragile. It's like this one insult's going to make you cry, but I'm sure it's deeper than that for, 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 some, people. Yeah, for yeah. some people. Yeah, it, you can't tell people how to feel in certain situations. People react different to fucking everything. But uh, on a lighter note, the Chiefs Bills weather delay. Uh, what they have like an hour hour break. It was a little over an, an hour. hour. Yeah. Uh, so the players, like I guess they hooked the players up with some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, but the players were bitching because the, there was too much peanut butter on them. They said it was seventy thirty peanut butter, which is outrageous. You're trying to make them suffocate. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, just not be able to open your fucking mouth, dude. Yeah. Seventy thirty. You got to chase that with a water immediately, just so and, you don't die. When it's that heavy, dude, the water just goes right through it. And just, <laughs> yeah, you're like you're like waterboarding yourself, like it's like seeping through the fucking peanut butter. Yeah. Uh, but it made me think. What do you think the correct ratio is uh, for peanut butter to jelly? I, I'm I, I'm a peanut butter fan. I like a little less jelly. I'm going sixty forty. I, I agree, hundred percent, dude. You know, just smear the jelly and then give me a little extra bit of the See, butter. Nah, I like a little more than a smear of yeah, the jelly. Okay. I'm not going sixty forty. I'm fifty fifty. Dude. Yeah, you I want to make a. I make a good peanut butter and jelly. So do I. I make 50, yeah. 50. I agree with you. I I feel like just by the way. The peanut butter spreads. You probably get more of it, but I mean, if you give me like a fucking squeeze bottle, I'm it's, it's going to be jelly heavy. Yeah, and if, and if, that's if, a different story. And yeah. Also, if you don't have a squeeze bottle in two, 2021 and you're fucking scooping fucking Whoa. jelly out of a jar, yeah, you, you, are, jar jelly you guys dude. are trash. I, 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 I spread that jelly around like I'm finishing concrete. First of all, it was perfect by the time I'm done with it. It takes fucking 45 minutes, dude. Take some pride I, in your food. I, mean, I do. You the squeeze bottle, you can layer it, then you just fucking get the knife and it goes right over. That's it. Just so I'm the only You're squeeze bottle guy. Lasagna. I'm the only squeeze bottle guy? Yeah. Yep. You guys are white trash losers. So listen, I'm going to tell you about something. This is how I know that I'm right. No, Every no, time that, the three you have no. something and I have it, I was like, oh, that, I'm right. I didn't even know they had them. I, I'm going to tell you, back to the 60-40 thing. You're, you're saying that that's way out of proportion. I used to make the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches at the three-quarter house for everybody's <laughs> lunch. That was my detail for two weeks. You know what they said? They said, Zydell, these are the best peanut butter and jelly sandwiches I ever had. And I was scooping out of the jar with a spoon, slamming it on there. and I was You spread it with a spoon. With a spoon, dog. It was a three-quarter hey, house. You were a spoon like, master, dude. I was the spoon man. I had a lot of work with spoons over the years. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you guys don't go fucking squeeze. Uh, so, what, what kind of jelly, though? Strawberry, raspberry? Grape, Mi Michigan sour cherry. It's not a Costco best jelly ever. Michigan sour cherry. What Honest the to God. fuck? What, what yeah. color is that? What's that look like? Is that a micro brew? No, dude. Yeah. It's a Michigan. Well, you a little fancy, <laughs> <moment>. <laughs> right? It's with that Costco. You little dandelion. <laughs> <laughs> Don't are you trying to gruden me? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, dude. It's down at Costco. I tried yeah, it. Look different. That jelly up for a while. Yeah, it's. I loved it. What so what color is it? What's it look like? Is it like it, yellow? It, I feel no, like it no, seems like a, a yellow. to No, me. it's a. It looks red. Oh, it's red. Yeah. And it actually has like sour cherries in the jelly, so it's it's delicious and it's healthy. Does it come in a squeeze bottle? No, it's no, all with those last chunks. Year. It's, it's real. Why do you, why, why'd you say it's healthy? What's make it? What I didn't healthy? say it was healthy. I did because he said he had chunks of fruit in it, right? You just just the it. cherries, you know. But uh, what do you go? Uh, I'm a grape jelly kind of guy. I'm a big time grape well, jelly guy. Well, 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 grape. grape. Yeah, yeah, that's squeeze. yeah. <laughs> what uh, what what about bread? White, the, yeah, white. Go white. I, give me the white, white trash. It's like the, yeah. the Italian wonder. bread. Yeah, yeah. wonder. Sweet, sweet harvest wheat. Oh, dude, sweet that's, that's wheat. all Rosa buys, dude. I'm like, what happened to just like white wonder bread? Yeah. You know? I got it. I eat everything off potato bread. 
Potato bread. <laughs> That's the only bread you, I ever buy. Are you Russian? No. But it's, it's I like, like potato bread. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what are you eating? Hawaiian, it's, it's, Hawaiian it's, rolls? It's, yeah, well, that's, I was literally about to say that. Those I mean, are fire. At, at times, that, like, if you got some Hawaiian rolls lying around and you, you make mini, like, you make me, peanut butter and jelly sliders, <laughs> boom. Yeah. I'll just eat 15 of those. Did you, did you ever, you ever uh, like, uh, Fry a, a peanut PB and Yeah, of course I Delicious. did. Delicious. I was like poor for a long cheese. time. That was a good that's, uh, a, that's, like a, that's like a high class PB&J. Yeah. Dude. So are you cutting your PB&Js as an adult, or are you just eating them fucking whole? So I make them with my kids. So, so you're going to cut them. cut everything up, and then, like, because they, they might want one or two, so I just have a bunch of pieces. Yeah. You know, but if I'm making it for myself, I just want whole. What? You know? Yeah, I, yeah, I think, yeah, I agree with you. I, I go whole these days. But if I was going to cut it, I would cut it. Diagonals. Sideways? No, I don't do it. You gotta I, go diagonal. You like right? the triangles? You have yeah, to. I go. I different. cut it in half. Yeah, it depends. Yeah. Cut yeah. them in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you, so you go back I'll and forth. Up. You know what I mean? If I want to be fancy, you know. <laughs> I feel like the I feel like the triangles are more fancy. Well, that's what I, I mean. I make for my kids. It's special. You're like, here you go, girls. Here you got some little PBJ diamonds. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> what are you doing? You're probably not even cutting it off. Fuck at all. no. <laughs> he folds it in half. <laughs> I fucking grab it like this and slam Dude, it down. He rolls these uh, sandwich cutouts that like uh, form shapes and shit yeah. like dolphins, yeah. which are uh, like the hardest thing to clean ever. <laughs> and you lose like most of this, like a quarter of the sandwich by using. You got to like cutout. scrape it out. Well, that's of what the I was about to ask. Like, what do you? Like, what, it seems like you're wasting a lot there. Yeah, so I'm I'm sitting there shoveling the crust with all the. <laughs> that's so what you're eating the outside. Dad yeah, is eating the yeah. crust, and the girls are just eating T- the middle. Dads get fucked on shit like that. Everything like, <laughs> on everything. Right? Yeah, like this like, weekend, oh, I drove like here, for fucking like eight hours, dude. You yeah, but was like, you're better off driving than letting Rosa drive. Oh, dude, I mean, yeah. speaking of time, Jack. <laughs> oh, oh buddy. man, good time from here to Annapolis, dude. Uh, my fucking you know Google whatever. Google Maps told me uh, four hours and 11 minutes, dude. I was like... I would have been in under four. Push off. <laughs> I fucking made it in like three, fifth, three hours, 50 minutes. You got to get stopped, under four. And I stopped and got gas, and my kids went in the sheets and like got food. I was doing 90 the whole way. Like what kind of food did they get? Did they get like MTOs, or do they fucking just have like re- regular old snacks? No. Well, they got like a bunch of snacks. The girls like the pickles, those like pickles in the bag. Risotto loves them. Yeah, they're they're actually pretty fucking them good. Them hot pickles. No, it's dead. I mean, my there's kids, regular and then they get there's the hot. Dil, it's like Dilly Dill or something. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great name, dude, but... Uh, yeah, they get those, and you know, my you know, it was just a bunch of us got off. I mean, rubber. good time feels great, doesn't I, uh, it? Dude, I was mm. killing it. I, I was, I felt just like watching Johnny those was minutes. Like, nobody's fucking... passing us on the <laughs> way down here. I was flying, man. Dude, dude, it was, was nice. Get, once you get off open. the parkway and you've been going that fast for a while, it's like hard to slow it down. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. When you when you get back to Pittsburgh and you get like off the turnpike, like you yeah. pull back in, and you're yeah. like, it's a weird drive from there. It's like, yeah. all right, I'm over this now. Now, like, get me home. Yeah, 35 feels like you're going like 10 on Greenfield Avenue doing 46. Uh, so two dudes got lost at sea. They went fishing. Uh, some weather came in, threw them way off course. Uh, they got stuck on an island for 29 days. And when they found them, dudes, they said, oh, it was a nice break. They enjoyed the 29-day break. They did have – they had a, a bag, a, a giant bag of oranges – and then they had some coconuts. I guess they were fucking uh, living off of. They said the coconuts were like coming, washing up on the beach. Yeah, and they were just fucking drinking water out of the boat because they had a boat, so they were drinking the uh, rainwater out of that and then eating coconuts. So they had some more. Or- I don't know how many fucking oranges they bought. The, they, I mean, bag- they had to have the runs. <laughs> they had to have the runs. I mean, I mean, a bag oranges. of oranges is what twelve oranges. <laughs> Let's go on the first two days. If well, you're consi- hey, if you're stuck, you're yeah. gonna, you know, you can't. You're, you're splitting an orange a day. Yeah. Right. Right. That would be fucking hard, though, man. Like, man, fuck it. Let's just get... We're probably... Someone, someone's going to come tomorrow, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, okay. Right. What do you do the whole time? Like, I don't, don't know. Did, what, did they build a hut or something? So, they had to. Oh, right? I'm sure they got cast away with yeah. it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, they have to. Wilson. But it wouldn't be that bad. You're with your buddy. You know what I mean? And then it's like a little adventure. How long would you like to be lost at sea? If you I mean, orange, at sea or at a, on at, an island? On an island. You had coconuts and oranges you could live off of. I I don't think so I'd two want two weeks. Is yeah, the best I, could do. I was thinking. I swear to God, seventeen days popped in my head. I was like, seventeen days, naked and afraid. I wouldn't want to go past twenty nine days. That, no, that's fucking no, long. No, that's dude. I'm probably gonna start getting a little anxious around like six days. Oranges or coconuts or not. I, I mean, yeah. I mean, you probably get anxious around like day like three. I might start like, a new because you would get there and be like, all right, someone's gonna grab us here shortly. Right. I don't know why you would think that. Neither, no. but you unless know. you're in like a shipping lane and you can see like a fucking yeah, but you got to get out there. No, you got to make a signal fire. Do you never watch Naked and Afraid or like fucking any yeah of those shows? That'd be the toughest part, fucking 
Make First thing you fire. do, make a signal fire, babe. Get it ready to light when you see the fucking boat. These dudes, Everybody knows that. I think these dudes were outdoor savvy a little That's bit. That's what I mean. They had to be survivalists of some sort to stay there for 29 and, days and not die. And for dude, sure. And they were going out on a fishing trip to New Guinea that they usually take. And it was like 200 yeah, New, kilometers on New a small Guinea's boat. New Guinea's not New Jersey. Like, right. You know what I mean? New Guinea's like It's a, not? It, yeah. But <laughs> I'm saying it's like, it's like a wild fucking place. It ain't like, you know. Yeah, we were dealing with some fishermen here. I mean, I'd be, so, in fishermen. reality... I would start panicking after two days. Like, get me the fuck out of here. Oh, yeah. You know I mean? I'd right. Be, I'd 29 be, days. Like, no. That's a long time. Then, but if you, you knew you were, you were getting picked if up. If you knew you were getting picked up, that's right. a whole different story. Yeah. But then after the 29 days, you're back You're back to civilization, and your kids and wife are bothering, and you're like, man, that I island, wish I was that that island wasn't island. so fucking bad. Yeah, you're like, babe, I'm going that's, fishing again. That's yeah. what the dude was saying. He was like, I didn't hear anything about COVID. I didn't hear anything about this. And he said, it was, actually, it was a nice break. And I'm like, wow. You must really hate your life, brother. Yeah, <laughs> to be on an island eating coconuts with your boy, and that's like, you're like, I'd rather be there than home. For sure. <laughs> All right, well, let's t- take a little break here. All right, everybody, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back with more Greenfield Class Podcast. Man, the other day I went to the hunting supply store, and I got a cooter detector, and it goes beep, 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 and I'm driving through the side side. Next thing I know, that thing starts going off like crazy. Beep, 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 beep. It took me right into 12 Whiskey Barbecue at 1222 East Carson Street. Man, that cooter detector is the best thing I ever bought. I ain't never seen so much cooter in my life. When I went in there, I couldn't believe my eyes. I never seen so much cooter. I went in there for the cooter, but then I looked at the menu, and the food was delicious. Some of the best barbecue in the burg. Not only that, they had every drink I could ever think of. So 12 Whiskey Barbecues filled with cooter, barbecue, and good drinks. At 1222 to East Carson Street. Make sure you stop down if you like cooter, barbecue, and drinks. 10 4. Hey, what's going on, everybody? You're probably looking outside your house right now, and it probably looks nice. Well, maybe it looks like shit. If it looks like shit, call 412 521 9045, Rosado and Sons Landscaping. And guess what? We just don't do landscaping. That's right, folks. Do you have some concrete outside? It's looking weathered. Maybe your back deck looks like shit. Are you sick and tired of looking outside and seeing shit, shit, shit? Well, did you know that Rosado and Sons also does pressure washing, too, in free quotes? So call 412-521-9045. It's very affordable and reliable. Make sure this summer get all your projects done and call Rosado and Sons, 412-521-9045. Don't hesitate. You'll be late. What's going on, everybody? It's almost that time of the year where you got to go get your sidewalks or your steps fixed. And I don't trust a lot of these idiots out here right now. I really don't. Thank goodness Giuseppe and Sons is in the area, and they're always on the job. If you're looking for any type of masonry work this season coming up, please call Giuseppe and Sons, 412-421-6711, and make sure you tell them Rocco sent you, huh? Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm the host of Greenfield's Finest Podcast, Michael Z. Bird's Idell, and I'm not joking around today because I'm looking for your sports cards, sports memorabilia, or silver coins. If you're in the market to buy, sell, or trade, please contact me at 724-732-1644. Maybe you have some old cards laying around you don't know what to do with them. We'll come over to your house, look at them, get them listed, and get some money in your pocket right away. 724-732-1644. No questions asked. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Greenfoot's Finest Podcast. We're about to jump into Corn Dick of the Week. Money line. Who be Corn Dicking this week? Before we get to that, do you think those two fucked on an island in those 29 <laughs> days? I'm, su- I'm surprised I, we got fast. I outside. know. Yeah. I meant to bring, like, someone they was might, talking, I meant to bring it up. And I, you say they probably, like, like we said before, like, jerked each other. At what point off, do you man? look at your boy, like, dude, we're going to be here forever? Yeah. He's like, yeah. dude, 30 days, and we'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> that might have, yeah. Like, any, Listen, we got to last one month. Anything else, people are going to be It's going to be like, gay, It's going to be weird. <laughs> right. But, it, it all depended if, like, they really thought they were stranded. They were going to be stranded forever. If, like, <laughs> yeah. What if it, it was, like, day two? Like, hey, man, we're stuck here. <laughs> like, 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 whoa, dude. Yeah. We still got a bag of oranges. Like, relax. Yeah. You start cuddling with me on the beach. Yeah. Like, whoa, whoa. They're like, we're going to fuck today on day 28. And then it, 10 minutes later, a ship comes by. Yeah, and they're blowing the shame, horn. There's a shame and jizz all over them. <laughs> <laughs> they finally let their guard down. And the fuck fisherman goes by blowing the horn. That's why the dude was like so disappointed. They find him like, fuck. The one dude was like, man, I could win another three days, dude. <laughs> so how many days you going? Well, banging my boy. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you got to wait the 30 days. That's a I courtesy mean, thing, right? <laughs> yeah, you got to. I would hope it was someone like a, It has to be someone I'm not that cool with. And then, like, you know what I mean? So I'm saying it. A month, dude. Damn, damn, zebra. I mean, fuck. You it. run through your like spank bank th- th- uh, that quick? No, dog. But I'm saying like fuck it, Yolo. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna be stuck on an island, you're stuck on an hey, island. Hey, if we're gonna fuck, dog, like a month, let's do it. Like, what are we waiting for? Six months? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we could have had a whole good romantic five months together, dude. Like, you might I, not ever want to get picked up. Right? I might be like, this is great. You're, you know? f- you're fishing. You're eating oranges and coconuts. You're paying. You're banging your fucking buddy. Like, fuck, like, things, are, things surely, are going good. Surely called it broke back island, dude. Yeah. yeah. Right. Island. Got a nice tan. You guys look good. Yeah. <laughs> Rubbing know. coconut oil off each other. Yeah, I'd be like a month and a half. <laughs> there you go. You made my month. You sound like yeah, a fucking... 40 days. We got to be on the island. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying, John? Two years. <laughs> the straightest dude in yeah. America, John That's right. Auto. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, corn dick of the week. Tim Tebow, you fucking loser. Yeah. Goes on ESPN to talk about how disappointed he is in Urban Meyer. Did he start crying too? He was like, he was talking in like a soft thing. I'm just like really, I'm really good friends with his wife. I feel so bad for, I forget Urban's wife's name. It's like Miss Patty and the, and the kids. And like, we're all very close. And I was just so disappointed. And I talked to him and I said, coach, it's like what, what was happening there? And he's all, oh, Tim, I'm disappointed. Shut the fuck up, dude. Yeah. He was blowing off some steam. Let him fucking go. Like, you know, okay. You want to talk to him? You want to be disappointed with him? Great. Have that conversation with him. Yeah, and then stay off. Uh, don't call media. Stephen A. Smith yeah. and fucking be like, hey, man, I'm going to fucking throw my coach under the fucking bus here and act like I'm doing him a favor. Steve- like, And it's just like, dude, you're such a fucking dork loser. Yes. Like, you're supposed to be, this is supposed to be your fucking boy, and you're to go on ESPN and talk about how disappointed you are. How about not go on ESPN? Right. It's very Christian like yeah, yeah. You fucking <laughs> yeah. dork. And like, you're fucking like grandstanding and pretending like you're like doing like this favor for him and you're speaking out for him, and you're just bringing it up again. Yeah. You're going on fucking ESPN, and now there's another sound bite out there. There's another fucking clip, and people are fucking talking about it. Shut the fuck up, Tim. Real, yeah, you want to do him a, a favor? Re- stay out. Uh, if he was, if he was a real fucking friend, and he was really, he would have went and approached him and be like, "Dude, listen, I know shit happens, but I'm here for you." And that's it. You don't have to go and fucking ESPN. You. Know, it was all about Tim Tebow being yeah, like, it was, broadcasting yeah, Tim yeah, Tebow. It was, well it was, it was, it was nothing dick. about nothing. None well of that was about Urban Meyer. And you know what? Fuck him. Secondly, because Urban Meyer is the only one that gave him a fucking chance to get back in the NFL. They live on the same street. Like it's just. Oh, uh, they live on the same street they too. The They're like street. boys. Ah, not it's anymore. Like, it's, it's like dude. Not anymore. Not it, in my house. You saw an opportunity, <laughs> like, hey, I could get myself on ESPN here yeah. and fucking talk Become and get my name back out seconds. there. Is, is Stephen yeah. A. Smith married? Because if he is, I guarantee you Stephen A. Smith, that cocky little bastard. I don't mm. know if Stephen A. Smith is married. I don't know either. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Todd, you Google that real quick? <laughs> Dude, you know, not to get back to Gruden, but I thought the, the best answer I've heard to anything in a long time was when they asked Mike Tomlin about Gruden because he, he was under Gruden in Tampa. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. He was like, I feel bad for the people we offended. He said, I feel bad for the Raiders organization. And he's like, and I feel bad for Coach Gruden. He's like, and that's all I'm going to say about it. Yeah. Pretty simple. That was it. Yeah. Because, like, honestly, for something like that, you you have to allow yourself to be offended by it. Like, you know, remember well, the old thing, he, sticks and stones. He just, he didn't throw, well, he, I mean, he didn't, a, that's a, a Tomlin I, Aaron. Less is a, more. That's yeah. just a classy answer. Boom. He's like, that's all I'm going to say about I, I like, yeah. I like how he answers questions, Never married. too. Never married. Yeah. Hmm. What a hmm. surprise. <laughs> what a dude. Two kids? Okay. So he has sex. So, yes. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you're going to, like, take it to the epitome of uh, a more moral Stephen A. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to, to, it's, uh, it's, enough, enough. ESPN, Tebow. show me highlights. <laughs> Literally, just like MTV stops showing music videos, ESPN stopping with sports. They're more like TMZ now. Yeah, a hundred percent. Gavin Newsom, governor of California, will outlaw the sale of wee whackers, chainsaws, lawnmowers. Everything must be battery oper- operated or plugged in. So I guess like the, they're. The small tolls with like little engines are leaving out, leaving off too much emissions in California, and they are everything has, has to be battery operated and plugged in. And if you ever use the battery operated toll like that or a plug in one, they fucking stink. Yeah. It, it, Rosado, I'm gonna let him talk about, it, but he brought up a, a really good point. Thing. One thing I said too is like, it, like 
the technology just didn't catch up to that yet. Yeah, the batteries. The batteries there. aren't. They're not ready. Not even. I have a battery operated chainsaw. It fucking stinks. Yeah, it stinks. Man. The power's not there. There is some battery operated mowers. Like if you're a homeowner, you could get your house in. What am I supposed to carry? Well, that Fifty was... mowers with me. <laughs> what... And what about golf courses? Them big machines over there. They use car batteries to to, to run. Yeah. Right. And like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Right, but unless to make electricity, unless Tesla, unless Tesla <laughs> is going to come up with a whole new line of like uh, equipment, which is po- definitely possible. But hey, if it's possible, yeah, but do, wait, wait, wait for it. Yeah, right. <laughs> they got till twenty twenty four. Oh, minute. okay. So like, what are you years. like? What are you supposed to? What, what are you supposed to come up with? Four hundred feet of extension cord <laughs> to every job and like plug it into like out, an outside outlet. Or, or you know, like you know what you need because some of these assholes generator. outdoor. You need a generator. Some of these assholes don't even want you using their electric because you're charging my electric bill. Oh, uh, so you would. What a I nightmare. used to use Dude, them. Some people will let you use their water, bro. <laughs> people are Pe- people have said. I can tell you this. People. There was like. It was actually a young kid said something to me one time about using a gas powered mower, saying you're not allowed to use it. So he was already trained. He was probably from out west. You know what I mean? Probably that gibberish already started. But there's a place where we like put the blower at, and like people sometimes we get some. But we'll get to that later. But yeah, yeah, we got a story there. But I mean, it's just there's just, bigger fish to fry here, dude, man. Dude, I, I feel like they're just tr- like I don't know. I mean, California is just a different beast all around. But I mean, 2024 isn't that far off, and they're going to allocate like a certain amount of money to help these companies by what? Like I, these, the, if you're going to make the job go slower, you're going to make it that much more expensive. And like the 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 name of the game anymore is taking the 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 guy out. You know what I mean? Everything's like wants to be like automated like people don't want to like robots yeah like or not robots but i mean like it's you're gonna be make, like a room it's gonna take me yard. it's gonna take me an extra hour to cut your yard because i gotta use this piece of shit when i was at nevillewood there was a Roomba lawnmower it was insane which it's gonna that's what it's gonna come down to yeah i don't know i mean if battery power like if there's a better source of energy then use it it's fine but but just like the, the thing is like you're gonna be using up all that electricity like where's electric right. i mean like i get it you're saying solar power but still the majority of electricity doesn't come from solar that's power where you, that's where you get goats the goats eat the grass. <laughs> there you go, goats. Here yeah. it is, right there. Demi Don't Lovato said we st- said we should stop calling aliens aliens because it's derogatory. Shut up, Demi Lovato. I not, well, just when I thought she was off of heroin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, get back on it. If you're gonna fucking talk Seriously. about stupid shit yeah, like this all fucking day. What the fuck does day. that even mean? I mean, dude. I, mean, I don't. I don't look at aliens like negatively. I don't no. think it's a negative term. I don't think n- aliens are necessarily a bad thing. No, I don't think like. A- I mean, it's. Are we really in a place right now in the world where aliens is a derogatory term for aliens? You know. <laughs> that, that, I mean, what, how, I, how much time do people have? How much time do people have is correct. So yeah, this is what you're like, worried about, Demi Lovato. Yeah. It comes back to her not yeah, doing yeah, heroin anymore. Yeah, you have a soon. terrible haircut. You should be worried yeah. about that. And in two years, you're not going to be getting your fucking grass cut either. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. <laughs> Out in California, it's battery operated motors. Maybe fucking the aliens will come down. And fucking, I'm just looks say. like your hair. You got your hair cut by a battery operated trimmer. <laughs> Alien. Yeah. <laughs> she did. She got a fresh. She got a fresh fade. Dude. Yeah. Looks like shit. <laughs> Megan Trainer and her husband have side by side toilets so they get shit and piss next to each other. That's gross. That's disgusting. And our reasoning was that she gets up in the middle of the night and they they both get up and have to piss at the same That's time it. and they don't want to go to their I would imagine Megan Trainer has a mansion. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they don't want to go to the separate bathrooms, so they just put toilets together so they could pee together. That that's awkward. Does he sit down to pee? Uh, dude, who knows? Right, because I mean, <laughs> that's what it sounds like. How often you can't how, wait how the, uh, forty-five it, seconds for pee. piss? That's stupid, and she's stupid, and so I is Demi Lovato. That's why I, I put. I didn't even give them their own little one. I was writing. I didn't even give them their own little dot. I fucking <laughs> just gave. I gave them them a slash because that's how stupid both of these. We're a waste of I, money. I, it's, it's a waste of our time talking about. It. I should have left it off the fucking show. These fucking idiots, loser. I hope he pisses all over her. You know, I, yeah, maybe that's happened. Yeah. Do you know her husband is the little fat ginger kid from Spy Kids? No, I, I don't, don't even know. That's, that her, that's her husband. Yeah. I have no <laughs> idea who that is, but I know they're weird. He doesn't let his wife pee alone. He, he don't trust her. <laughs> He's like, last time she went in the bathroom, she fucked the maid. Yeah, <laughs> she fucked the butler. She holds his hand while they <laughs> pee together. If you would have told me, uh, like, you go up side by side toilets because you're in some weird, like, kinky sexual shit stuff, like, okay, that makes more sense. 
than like having to like have them to pee at the same time. Like, fuck, you're just like wasting money now. Right. That's I think some rich people shit. I think there's a darker story to this, and that I hope the, so. That's what I'm hoping <laughs> that they like. They like to pee on each other, and they have to have multiple bathrooms. Now, something right. like this, who asked her? She came out with this on her own. Yeah, she vol- she, she wanted she was people this, to know. Yeah, 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 no, even in the article, they, I forget what it, like the exact wording of it, but they're like, and then Megan like offered this up. Like, you know, no one asked you. You have side by side toilets. They're it's like, not oh, a thing. So I heard you go to the house. She was like, yeah. So we got two toilets and we piss next to each other. It's great. I'm sure. Yeah, like the plumber <laughs> that was there was like, yeah, we'll do it every month. You got money, weird. right? Good. <laughs> She's alkaline water in her fucking toilet. Yeah. Rick Ross has it in his. I say now. Yeah. I say now. <laughs> uh, the Rock. You know what? I'm over the rock. I had enough of him. I was do? never a big. He's I was now. yeah. I was never. No. I was never a big rock guy. I always thought he was overrated. Now he's rapping, so he puts the Instagram post up, like of his rap video, wherever the fuck it is. I couldn't even like watch the whole thing, and he was like, and believe it or not, like it was that it wasn't bad. It, it was is, bad. It was fucking horrendous. <laughs> believe it, it was bad. <laughs> yeah, believe it or not, thank God it doesn't suck. It very much sucked. Yeah. <laughs> and it, the, it's just like. These these celebrities surround themselves with these yes men, and they just fucking say everything's fucking good. Like, dude, what are you doing, cause you can't rap? Like, you're fucking, you're lucky, you're lucky. I can't believe you're as big as you are. You're in these fucking horrendous fucking right. movies. You're not a good actor. Fucking, what was the football show that everybody loved? And I said it was the worst show ever. It was on HBO. The um, what is it? Oh, um, ballers. Ballers. Yeah. Ballers suck too. I'm I'm a rock. I'll say this. I'm a rock fan. I didn't hate ballers either. I, I'm a rock <laughs> fan. I like, like that the, bald dude. First season was okay. Any, I do like that bald guy. And Denzel Anything son. was fucking terrible. I I like the rock. I thought that, but I did definitely thought the fucking music video sucked. Terrible. I yeah. don't know. The rock doesn't do it for me. I don't understand why he's so fucking famous. People fucking love him. But like, dude, what what famous person rapped and it went well? Shaq. Horrendous. The sold, a, sold, sold a fuck ton of fucking CDs. <laughs> yeah. Dion Sanders. Dion, yeah, terrible. Yeah. Kobe, terrible. Uh, Lev Dam- Bell. Lev Bell, horrendous. Dude, it was so Damian back Lillard in the 80s, like, what can rap. Like, yeah. Dame Dollar can rap. He's literally the only one I could fucking think of where the transition is like, which I get it. You're rich. Who doesn't want to rap? But, like, I don't know. Someone has to tell the Roth, like, hey, man, we're going to. Uh, we're gonna put this one. We're not gonna release this one. This is fucking horrendous. <laughs> well, you buddy. keep this for the like, house. You, keep, you can't do any. You can't do everything. Like rapping, you're not good at. And for the fact that like, thank God it doesn't suck. Sucks rock. He was. You know what? You fucking suck. That, that was like a, a you, Demi Lovato, and, and yeah. Megan Trainer all <laughs> suck. <laughs> I liked it better. Like the one good thing about COVID was celebrities got celebrities and athletes. Got brought down a couple notches. People stopped giving a fuck, stopped hanging on every word that they said because people had bigger issues. Now we're, like, coming out of this, and these celebrities, our heads are bigger than ever. Sucks. I wish they would have stayed. I-, I wish they would just shut the fuck up. Yeah. wish I didn't have to talk about them on this podcast. <laughs> this is fucking goofy. Uh, protesters. Protest- protesters in Delco. Delco is, like, a part, uh, a neighborhood, a county in Philly. Uh, they're pretty white trash. And, uh. There was a protest going on for babies getting cir- circumcised. And <laughs> there was a bunch of people with signs of saying, like, it should be a baby's choice to get circumcised. Absolutely. And they all had white clothes on, and they had blood, fake blood, all over their pants where, like, their dick is. My body, my choice. My right? body, my choice is pretty much what they're saying. And the yeah. dude walks out to him like, dude, there's, like, a – he was like, what the fuck's going on here? Why in the world are you protesting this? There's like, there's you, there's a, so many things you could be doing better yeah, with your time. Human trafficking, human right trafficking, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, well, this is what I feel so strongly about. And the dude was like, you don't even got a dick. Oh, <laughs> 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 well, that's checkmate. Right? Yeah, <laughs> He's 100% she, right. She's like, I yeah. don't need one. And I'm just like, man. It, yeah, it's just another person with too much time or money. Too much yeah, time. Yeah. yeah. Go to work. Go to get do a job. something. <laughs> get a, yeah, get a hobby. Job. Johnny Moore Try to learn say, how to play golf. Yeah, why don't you do something? Right. The only person I know. Like I said, like when you make that decision, you're older. It's a lot more painful than when you would just. Yeah, be a baby. we should have called. Had Mishka call. Mishka him, will yeah. tell you all about You're it. Like, dude. No he was thirteen. Fucking, like, thirteen. No, he was that's fifteen. That's crazy. Either way, yeah, that's yeah. very old. When I was fifteen, the wind blew. Well, that's what he said. It was main boner time. Since 
since you're not circumcised, yeah. have you ever thought about going over to the other side? Yeah, yeah, all the time. <laughs> Fuck no, dude. Like it's, no. It, is, it's, it, it is what it is. That book, that story has been written. You know right. what I mean? Like, I'm so once you're not a baby, that's over. With, yeah, know? like, I mean, I guess you don't, you know, you guys remember getting circumcised? No. no. Well, then, fuck it. What the fuck's the difference? <laughs> but now, I, I, that's something I'll probably remember. Yeah. So yeah, I, that's true. <laughs> I'll be just fine. <laughs> Final corn dick of the week. Dog the bounty hunter is a fucking pussy. <laughs> Leaving Florida after two weeks as he hurt his ankle. Oh, the dog yeah. hurt his ankle. Uh, maybe dog. he's playing possum. <laughs> you think <laughs> yeah, that old dog? Yeah. That dog can hunt. So you think you uh, I kinda like that theory, John. I might be I'm, I was about to fucking destroy the dog, but I kinda like that. Uh you so you think the dog's playing possum? Trying to draw him out of his like, cave. Calls TMZ like, "Hey, tell, put this out here. Laundry's gonna get the word, fucking." And next thing you know, <laughs> he's gonna come out of his little fucking cave and boom, he's gonna jump on, on his back. Put yeah, yeah. He's, he's going to he's, gonna, he's gonna be hobbling around on those crutches, and laundry's gonna come out. He's gonna throw those crutches and start chasing. <laughs> Leland's gonna, 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 gonna tackle. <laughs> Leland's gonna jump out of the tree with a net. <laughs> he's gonna tie him up with his fucking man bun. Dude, so dude. that's what's going on here. <laughs> I knew something was up. I was like, man, the dogs really let me down here and i was gonna go on this big yeah. fucking rant about him being old and a pussy but uh, now he's probably playing possum yeah he got Cause he you. said because they said he wants to go back to colorado and have his doctor look at it like eh, that does sound a little fishy because there's florida there's yeah, doctors there's doctors in florida, in florida that, that, that people have turned ankles in florida so. yeah, right. yeah, get that florida. taped up and get the dog game yeah. off the way on a sprained ankle they nah. did they did say this is his comeback tour. where's, he, where's yeah. he going back to hawaii there's no way he, he has nothing glass. he has nothing going on this is the only thing he has you're exactly right risotto i never thought of it from that angle but he is not letting this go no way that like that would be the most fully back on the dog here. If we, if we, the story next week we bring up is we can't believe the dog was playing possum hiding in a swamp and caught laundry. They said he was like wading through the swamp That's and shit. I was saying like, that, yeah. He's dressed as a gator. He's running around like Rambo. He's gonna, he's gonna have one of those like fucking bush outfits on yeah. where he can crawl up and a just ghillie, be a bush. Yeah. He's got a ghillie suit. He yeah. shot like, he's just like one of those moving bushes. Yeah. yeah. He got Leland dressed up as a fucking alligator yeah. fucking crawling around. Uh, oh, laundry's yeah. fucked. That dog can hunt. I hope laundry he doesn't listen to this podcast. We're gonna fuck yeah. up the dog. He's like game yeah. right listening. Like you're I knew get, it. You're gonna get hit on Twitter. Like he's like, you boys just ruined my whole game. We'll do the analytics. And be like you have one listener in this part of Florida. Like it's long. We'll send it to the dog. <laughs> like thanks, boys. <laughs> That'd be fucking great. If we help the dog catch laundry, if dude. we could somehow like put ourselves in this investigation, that'd be fucking awesome. It's like a Scooby Doo episode. I should message the dog tonight. Say, is there anything we could do for you? Let the fucked know. up thing about this is like you don't hear anything about like the fbi's progress or anything like that it's just literally like what's the dog up to on this the dog's case? made more there's, progress there's more we're there's more news about people thinking we can't use gas-powered lawnmowers and demi lovato <laughs> says not to call aliens aliens than there is about finding this guy the only reason we find out about this guy is because the dog is playing possum and he sent on a news story he <laughs> shot up a flare you know what i mean i love it john that's genius yeah <laughs> all right brother in arms Jennifer Aniston placed a pillow over her puss so she, she <laughs> so when her and Jake Gyllenhaal were doing a love scene, she wouldn't feel it was boner. So they did like a, a movie with the good girl back in the day. I think it was like 2011. Gyllenhaal was like an up and coming star. Jennifer Aniston was obviously Jennifer Aniston. 2011 Jennifer Aniston, yeah. yeah. Rocket. Yeah. Still a rocket. That's a I mean, pretty hot Jennifer Aniston. Very hot. And then so <laughs> like Gyllenhaal was on Howard Stern and he was like, they were talking about it and Howard was, and he was saying what a crush he had on her back then. Like who the fuck didn't? And and Howard was like, well, how'd you do these scenes without like getting a boner? He's like, well, no, I mean, I got, I got a boner. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, but before we did the scene, like Jen put down like a well placed pillow to make sure like it didn't get like she couldn't like feel it. And I'm like, dude, come on, dude, feel the boner. Be yeah. be a method actor. Get into the moment. Who do you think you are? I mean, that, what a letdown for him. You know what I mean? Because you're thinking you're going to get it to dry hump Jennifer Aniston. Sure. Well, I mean, I would be so happy. All right. right. What if she? He likes probably it? took less money in the thing. Like, I'm going to get the dry humper. All right, great. And then here it comes. He walks in, and there's this, this giant cock blocking pillow. She got a huge maxi pad on. Yeah, <laughs> dude. It's a big <laughs> letdown. She's the wearing the pants. <laughs> I mean, Jake Gyllenhaal is hot. You feel like I feel like Jen should have been into that a little more. He wasn't like a superstar yet, so 
He thought by the time he was dry done dry humping her, she'd be like, you know what, you dry hump me so well. I wonder. If that's oh, he was yeah, he was practicing. He, he kind of said he was kind of relieved because he was like nervous and he knew he was gonna get a boner and you know you, you get pre cum and get some yeah. involved and everything. She could get real sticky down there, like literally. Do you think whenever they made broke back Martin, he had to wear a pillow? Dude? You think dude was wearing a pillow? Think he? <laughs> think he's Ledger's butt cheeks were his pillows? Oh, he had a koozie. That in. was method acting, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was method. Dude, like, they were stuck. Like, Where's the fucking pillow now? They were they were stuck on a mountain for a day, cuz. <laughs> we were talking about, we were talking about the fucking uh, island, dude. These, yeah. It didn't take them but nightfall. Yeah, they just, <laughs> a little bit of whiskey and a fucking fire. They were ready to roll. <laughs> they were that frontier whiskey. And a sheep fur coat. Yeah. <laughs> sure, it's cold out here. That was a weird movie. Looking back on that one. Uh, <laughs> Anti vax protest. This is fucking unbelievable. Anti-vax protesters are saying COVID isn't real because the homeless aren't dead lying in the streets. <laughs> so there's a crazy lady on the microphone like, if if COVID was real, the homeless would be just packed up again or, or stacked up all, along these streets, dead all on the streets. And a homeless guy is walking by, and she was like, well, why aren't they? And fucking well, thinking she's gonna get a reply from her like protesters and the homeless dude walking by because like, I'm vaccinated, you dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was right. a, it's it's not a the plague lady. Yeah, it was just a, <laughs> she's going crazy, like trying to use these homeless people. Like, listen, if fucking just assuming homeless people aren't vaccinated, which she's clearly wrong about. Like, and she's like, they should be dead everywhere. And you just walk by, like, it's because I'm vaccinated, you dumb bitch. And it was just, it was perfect. Like, talk about that. Wow. Yeah. He was pushing, like, he was pushing a cart. You know what I mean? He was just walking by. Like bubbles in the wire. Yeah. It was dude. fucking unbelievable. And then, like, in the comments, you start reading the comments. A dude went out, found the dude, took a picture of him. They started to go fund me for the guy to help him out. He's you know probably I mean? a millionaire now. I don't know if he's a millionaire, but like it was cool. Like, listen, was like, that comment's worth ten ten thousand bucks. Yeah, you know oh, he's I mean? got more you, than ten he, racks. If, yeah, sure, bro. I don't, I don't know, but like, fuck it. We have to keep an eye dude, on. Dude, remember that. they found that one dude who had like this most magical voice, voice in New York. Yeah, I wonder what and they like they got him a dude, job dude. and everything else, and then he, you know, he just kept smoking crack. They, yeah, they, they, <laughs> dude, he, he, so, he, you give someone who loves to smoke crack just yeah. money with no treatment. He wasn't on the street. They're gonna smoke some crack. That's the reason he was on the street. He had that amazing voice. Yeah, it was an amazing voice. He also got amazing crack. Yeah, yeah, he had an amazing crack. Yeah, if you give a homo person i mean because i've been down the road before if you give someone with a drug habit ten thousand dollars their first thought is to get housing well, you know how much let me get crack, let, let me get nine thousand dollars worth of crack in a hotel for three nights I'm like that's a party that, that i'm planning this out well and you're like you know come day four you're you have no place to live and you're probably running real low on that's crack. probably a fast three days too it's oh like 10 minutes i've never spent ten thousand on crack but yeah, I've seen I can got, imagine. Yeah, I can imagine. I'm I don't thinking. think you'd make it through the weekend. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of crack. Next brother in arm, Matt no. Serger was hammer drunk sir, shirtless on TV after the Dodgers clinched. I don't. It was like 15 minutes after they won that playing game. Serger has his shirt off. He's pissed, steam, and drunk. Like, how do you get drunk that quick? Like, what? It, like, I, were they? Was, was he, he drinking did, in the dugout? Did he get out of the game and he started? That's what I mean. That's were they, were they dugout say. drinking? Yeah, he had to be. They had the to dugout be. drinking happens. He was like, he was like slurring. He was like, dude, you gotta get this. There's an echo. I'm drunk. He's, he's like, like, he's he's like I'm drunk. Can I talk? Yeah, I mean, they, they just moved on like 15 minutes prior yeah. to this. But I mean, partying skins is just. It's just a way to party, dude. Yeah. It's the only it's so way much, to party. It's the only, taking your shirt off and, like, pounding beers. <laughs> what a time. That's living. <laughs> that yeah. is living. I miss those days. <laughs> oh. I don't know what it is. It's so free. Like, look, I'm just having the best time in this fucking place. If you, if you go out and you get super drunk, you're like, oh, yeah, it was all right. If you're like, dude, we got hammered last night. We went skins. Like, yeah. you, it's it's, it's fe- a FOMO. Yeah. You're like, I wasn't there for yeah, that? Yeah, I popped my top off, and you missed it. Yep. I, the, the one time, there was like 30 of us at a bucko game, and it, I think it was like boys to men night or something. Yeah, and yeah. Everybody went skins, and we had like dudes in the rows behind us. It's they contagious. Take, they were taking their shirts It's like the way. <laughs> like, yeah. And all you gotta do is have a big enough crew where then they can't afford it. Like you know what I mean? They're not gonna yeah. throw thirty people out of the bar. But there was They'll like throw me out of the just, bar. They were like, "Yeah, I'm in." <laughs> oh, you're at Pansy Park. You can go skins if you're a guy. No. All okay. day. Yeah. For oh sure you yeah, can. I guess you can, huh? 
You got a tan if you want. Yeah, there's always like a weirdo like tanning, like fucking sitting yeah, by himself like, like in an afternoon <laughs> game. Yeah, with his with his feet up on the fucking. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I, I didn't think of that. <laughs> but I mean, you're about to go on national TV here and do an interview, and he popped his top off. Like I, I can respect that. That's yeah, fantastic. Yeah, I have no problem with that. Ah, uh, speaking of baseball, Tom Cruise is at a baseball game. Tom Cruise is finally starting to age. He's looking a little thick. His hair is looking a little thin. We'll have that touched up. Maybe, that maybe he's not an alien. <laughs> <laughs> there was a, there was a. If, if if I had to bet, like who is an alien? Sorry, Demi Lovato. Uh, like on Earth, Tom Cruise would be in my top twenty people. Who I think he's an alien. How old is Tom Cruise? I mean, he's got to be one hundred forty-seven years be, old. He got to be close to sixty. I bet sixty. He got to be close to sixty. Yeah, but he has like well, he the was thirty track. in Top Gun, right? So that was 30 years ago. Fuck. No, he couldn't have been 30 in time. You don't think? No, yeah. fuck no. I'm, dude, I'm telling you, Tom Cruise, I think, was... That was a young Tom Cruise. I, I get it. He looked young. That's He's 59. Why I, yeah, that's 59. why... 59. Yeah, 59. Because in Top Gun, that was 87. Yeah, that's fucking 30 years 23 years? Yeah, so he was close to... Yeah, yeah he was 27. Yeah. Hmm. He looks like shit. Well, he doesn't look like shit, but I mean, this is literally the first time I've looked at Cruz and like, oh man, he's like, he got he gets a little fat in the face, you know? Yeah. I mean, like COVID might have got to him a little bit, but he was filming, uh, maybe whatever. Maybe he's doing for like yeah. a fat role or yeah, something. I didn't think of that. He probably is that fucking motherfucker. Rosado again. Rosado. Rosado coming from all, from all the angles today. <laughs> uh, last one. I saved this last one because I'm. I figured this is going to get you guys pretty wound up. Uh, brother in arms, landscaper almost pounds dude. That so this landscaper loading the truck up. They, a couple dudes working. Dude got a leaf blower going. Other guys up on the truck fucking, <laughs> and then a neighbor comes out filming and starts bitching to the fucking landscapers that the leaf blower is too loud and they have to wind up or uh, close all their windows when they come and cut their neighbor's grass. Oh my and God. he's filming it. And he fucking filmed the wrong motherfucker. <laughs> and the dude was like, and he was like, man, why are you like coming over here bothering us? And he was like, dude got, he was like, you're bothering me. You have these, you have this leaf blower going, blah, blah, blah. And the dude was like, listen, I'm not the one. He was like, who's in charge here? And he was like, dude hopped off the truck, took his shirt off. Yeah. Like, he punked the shit out of this dude. was like, what? Are you going to get like physical with me? And he was like walking towards him. And he was just like, he was like, listen, dude, like you're about to get tuned up here. Yeah. And like, and the dude was like, All right, man. All right. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. And I'm going to go. And I hope. This sends a message to all these fucking weirdo white people that go around filming people and try to fuck with them. That they're gonna. I wish this dude would have got fucked you, up. You know what? You know what they did? No. They outlawed leaf blowers <laughs> in fucking California. California. Yeah, yeah, it was the same day. <laughs> <laughs> That's the people that are calling. Who in. was this guy? Yeah. <laughs> dude, it was it was one of the better videos that I've seen recently. I, I mean, that's like one of those videos that really hits my heart. It's like because you deal with people all the time. There's all got great stories about this, but I mean, just when I seen that dude jump off the truck, I knew the emotions going through. First off. Don't fucking film someone if you're going to confront them. Be a fucking man about it and be like, buddy, if it's really a problem, tell the neighbor. Tell your neighbor, That's, say, hey. Yeah, you don't take it up with a landscaper It's company. not the landscaper's not the one they're fucking you over. It's the neighbor who said, I don't give a fuck how loud it is. I want yeah, my they're doing their off. job. Yeah, but then you come out filming them. Now you're pissing. That's now just, you're like, you're, you're making dude. me fucking hot now. Dude, dude. We, we have a, I have a customer. I have to text him every time we're coming or, and he'll... Just so the, uh, to appease the neighbor so the neighbor can leave her house. That's crazy, But dude. she has landscapers that use the same equipment. <laughs> that's nuts. That's what I mean. Like, what? that's fucking insane. Does she leave the house when her landscapers come? I don't ask her, and I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm just saying in but, general. Uh, it's I just like, dude, like, dudes are out working their fucking dicks off. You're going to go over and, like, fuck with them. It needs, it, so hopefully this sends a little bit of a message, but a message needs to be sent that you can't walk up to motherfuckers and just film them and think everything's going to be okay. And just okay. say whatever you want. Say, say whatever you want and not doesn't, expect to get punched in your face. Doesn't work when, like when, when grown dudes are doing physical labor, they're yeah. usually not in the right state of mind. And it's like there's a little bit of anger and then a, mixed with a little bit of joy the day's almost over. But it's like the rate, you're ready to let loose on someone. There's someone's. very little patience. Dude, like, yeah, like it depends on like... It definitely depends on your mood and, like, how somebody approaches you. You know what Absolutely. I mean? Absolutely. Like, I had a lady that was, like, the day before Thanksgiving, and this was a big account, and this dude wanted his house. The leaves cleaned up. So, dude, there's a snow. It's supposed to snow later. So I'm like, I got to get this shit. This big-ass house done. It might snow. This is hell. It's going to snow. It's going to ruin this whole, you know. So, like, this lady comes over and stops me and asks if I could rake the whole yard up because our machines are being too loud, and her kids just flew in from the red eye, and they're trying to sleep. 
Absolutely not. That's what I said. Yeah. Verbatim. I yeah. said, absolutely not. I said, this guy isn't, first of all, going to pay for me to work here longer to clean up his leaves. And should can you come back later? I'm like, he went done today. Yeah. I have Talk to, to your do neighbor. It. Sorry. People, what the fuck is wrong with Who people? do you think well, you are? You can't be inconvenienced for fucking I don't want to wake her hour. little babies up from their Fuck nap. her babies, John. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, they weren't babies. These kids are like 20 years old. They just came home from college. Wow. Yeah, you'll be fine, dude. You've you yeah. been up snorting coke all night. You'll be yeah. okay. <laughs> Sleep it off. Yeah, we've all been there, pal. And this dude, what we walked up, and you could tell in his fucking cocky, condescending fucking voice, he he knew he was like he was trying to make a viral video, and he got one. It just didn't yeah. go the way he thought it was gonna yeah. go. Well, he obviously is the he, one he, who dude, he, it. he pushed up real fucking quick. Yeah, he, he probably, yeah, yeah, he probably crazy posted, like, move. Well, Can you is, believe how this guy yeah. acted? It probably was me? Gavin Newsom. Might have been. <laughs> Yeah, when he was like, he was he was definitely probably was thinking like, wait do people see how this guy treated me? When he was backing up like, it's okay, bro, it's okay, bro. Terrified. And, and, and the dude His whole that voice changed. Off, mean as fuck. Look at him like, you was ready? That, you ready? That, yeah, that he, big. That he, yeah, he's big, big enough. Dude, he was yeah, aggressive. When you come at somebody aggressive and they got that look in your eye, yeah. you know they're not. You know what I mean? Like, and then when the dude was backing up, when he started like, th- he's like, oh man, thanks, I appreciate you, I appreciate. You. Oh, thanks, and like he was like saying that, but in a crazy way, you know? Yeah, yeah right. Mean, that's. When you're uh, like, oh, like I'm about to be in some shit. When they start, when when crazy motherfuckers start thanking you and telling you like, oh no, you're good. And, yeah. uh, you you ain't. So, yeah, you don't ain't. get an arm's length. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a bad better day. Fucking, yeah, yeah, he went yeah. skins on him, dude. Like, yeah. yeah. And then his one boy was in the back, like throwing up like gang signs and, and shit. And <laughs> in the the best finger, finger. Yeah. yeah, like that dude had the right uh, idea. Was he was great. fucking with La Ma. It was yeah. great. It was a great video. Uh, this this story is was also very warm to my heart. This is mm-hmm. fucking good. Uh, so a photograph photographer, Jesus Christ, <laughs> photographer, I'm, I'm like reading from the sheet. It's like <laughs> fucking me up. Uh, a photographer deletes, does a wedding, deletes all the wedding pictures because the bride and, re- and groom refused to let him eat or have something to drink during the ceremony. Now, mind you, this dude was their friend who is like a dog groomer. They were on a budget. The dude takes a, pic- a bunch of pictures of the dogs that he grooms, I guess. They're like, hey, you take really good pictures. Any way you can photogra- uh, photograph our uh, wedding. Dude says, yeah, it's a 10-hour day. Pay me like $250. i will do it as a favor. I'm already coming to the wedding. So they're like, all right, cool. Wedding comes. You know what I mean? They're about, it's like 5 o'clock. Everybody's eating. <laughs> and the dude was like, hey, like, I'm going to grab something to eat and, eat and drink real quick. Like, where's my, like, where's my seat at? And they're like – you could either continue to fucking take pictures or you could go home unpaid. Says this to his boy. Yeah. And fucking the dude was like, what? And he was like, you're here to take pictures. You're not here as a guest. Like, take the pictures. 250 bucks, 10 hour. A photographer is what at a wedding? A thousand dollars? I would have spiked the fucking How much you camera pay? off his face. 2,000? Yeah. And this dude's going to do it for 250? Oh, uh, yeah. That dude should have punched him with the camera. He was like, dude, I just, he was like, dude, I just want 20. He was like, everyone's eating. Just give me 20 minutes. I'll grab something to eat, grab something to drink real quick. Like, let me, like, what are you talking about? And the That's dude was absurd. like, you could either fucking leave and not get paid or continue to take pictures. So the dude was like, all right, bet. And he, he was like, I'm not your photographer anymore. And he deleted Every fucking Good picture for he took yeah. for the Good day. For him. I, I I like that move. He should have been unbelievable. Like, you want to leave with your teeth at your wedding day? Because I will put this like, dude, like what, what do you want pictures of people shoving the the yeah that's what I mean. the I, chicken uh, the chicken Marcella in her mouth yeah. It's a delicious Marcella. Yeah. It's just like it's it just keeps it's the theme of this fucking podcast. People like, yeah. what suck. The fuck? People, People suck. fucking suck. <laughs> yeah, just no doy. Especially, I mean, I'm the same thing about like us as friends. Like, there's no way if my friend's doing me a favor, if he's like, "Hey, man, can I, it be?" Let's put it in a different. Say you're doing a wall at my house, and you're like, "Hey." Uh, you're doing the wall. Hey, Zebra, can I chill for a minute? And I'm like, no, that wall got to be done, surely. <laughs> Even though you gave me a break on the price and everything, I don't care. That wall needs done. If you don't like it, get the fuck out of here. You take, I wish you would take all the bricks down. I, I would take all the bricks down and leave and have right. leave you with a hillside of a dick. Good. You were out there fucking helping me. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. Like, like, I'm just yeah, saying. It's, it's like once the, like, once, once, like. The friendship thing, like for some people, once one dollars exchange, it turns p- people Sour. into like a power. Crazy yeah. people. Like I know, like I've heard stories of like friendships getting like people get weird, but, but like, over like a little over, bit of money. You yeah, know, not even like yeah, right. Substantial. Uh, like, there's definitely they're yeah. talking about a dinner at a fucking wedding. Where I'm sure some of them I think, I'm sure you got extra dinners. You can't let this dude eat his fucking. I, I think it was more about they didn't want him to stop taking pictures. 
Oh, well, they well, sound super cheap uh, too. If they're like worried in, about, in, dude, in if like they assholes. wanted like some pictures that he was gonna catch during that time frame, like, listen, dude, we're gonna do a couple of toast. I'd be yeah. like, do you take the pictures then eat? Yeah, sure. Like, be a reasonable human being, not so, like a. So what if this dude isn't a friend, and you're pay- you're paying him two thousand dollars top dollar? Do you, do you still let them eat? Yeah, I, dude, you let your I think fucking. I still fed our you feed everybody at your sure. wedding, bro. Yeah. They, there's a table set aside for like you your DJ, whoever, okay. like you know, all those people that your videographer, all that. That you have a table for them. Oh, okay. And you give them all fucking food. Like that's the humane it's a, thing. Yeah, they're there all day. Do. It's and what, I'm, I, so if, I mean, what's th- another this, three it, dinners, four dinners? Sure. You know and I, I, mean? I didn't like. I didn't think for one second like. You guys or anybody wouldn't feed anybody normal wouldn't feed their fucking like the DJ photographer or whatever, but I would imagine like these dudes get like caught in situations with crazy people all the time like like oh like oh you're gonna stop and eat like oh I really wanted you to do this like how <laughs> how long are you gonna be like type of shit it's just like man that's any ridiculous. type of service industry job is just rough people are fucking some people white expect trash so much for so little you know what I mean especially this guy well people people bucks. pay you money and they think they own you right it's yeah, exactly that's, yeah. Yeah, that's and that's what they think like 100%. oh like I own you from fucking for these ten hours you're gonna you're gonna do nothing but exactly what I paid you to do which is fucking insane right ten hours is a long stretch long stretch. For two Especially 50? if you ain't going to try to feed me. I mean, me. photography, like, dude, they go off easy. You know what I mean? Really? And then I, there was, like, people in the comments, like, yeah, I mean, they should have fed him, but, like, he definitely shouldn't have deleted the fucking Why not? Uh, pictures. Why the fuck like, that not? was the only way this dude had could have stand his ground or right. fucking without prove his point without somebody. beating the fuck out right. of him or really exactly. ruining the wedding. Exactly. 100%. Dude. That you dude have he, to fucking now, do you think? Well, that's always hard to say whether the groom's an asshole or his wife, his new wife. <laughs> Either way, he's an like asshole. In his ear. Both assholes. Even, yeah. even if somebody was like, even, like say, say you marry a cunt, yeah. and the cunt's <laughs> telling, and right. she's telling you like, hey, I, you gotta tell your boy, and you're just like, hey, shut the fuck up, dude. Right? Yeah, don't, yeah, don't, don't so Ooh, fucking wait. Shut up. Have a, you know, have some champagne. Yeah. Don't, don't tell me what I need to tell. I mean, I have to. I can't. My friend can't stop and eat and grab a fucking drink real quick. He's doing us a favor. Shut up before I'm I like, fucking. Dude, before I bathroom. cancel this whole thing. We're gonna do bumping like 20 minutes just to take the best pictures after that. <laughs> All right, let's take a little break. <laughs> All right, everybody, we'll take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back with more Greenfield Times podcast. Are you sick and tired of partying with the same old, same old and getting the old boring results, looking for something maybe different? You need to try Espelon Tequila. Two shots for a good time, three shots you might go get a package, and four shots you and your friends are getting on a plane to Vegas. Espelon Tequila, the official tequila of Greenfield's finest podcast. Hey, what's going on, everybody? If you're sitting down right now and you're listening to the podcast or watching the podcast, you probably want to order a pizza. And if you do, make sure you order from Capizudo's Pizza, the official pizza that Greenfield's Finest Podcast, located at 422 Greenfield Avenue, phone number 412-521-6570. Mention Greenfield's Finest Podcast whenever you call. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Are you sick and tired of hiring heroin-addicted roofers? I know I was. I had six of them fall off my roof in one day. I didn't know what to do. I found out about Allen Construction. Their roofers don't do heroin. So if you're looking for roofers that don't do heroin, call 412-954-8337. 412-954-8337. Make sure your roof stays and you don't come back at night to steal the shingles. Hey, what's going on, everybody? If you're like me, you probably have appliances in your house. TVs, ovens, dishwashers, microwaves, all types of stuff. That shit's going to break. And when it does, make sure you call Primetime Appliance, 412-896-1395. They deal with all insurance and warranty companies. They do all the work. All you have to do is call 412-896-1395. Primetime Appliance. Give them a call. I don't know about you, but I ain't got time to be packing boxes and moving stuff all the way around the tri-state area. I just don't got time for it. But I got to move. What am I supposed to do? Thank goodness I found out about Miracle Movers, fully bonded and insured, serving the Tri-County area, and they go long and short distance. I just found out they do commercial delivery, too. That's Miracle Movers at 412-419-2620, 412-419-2620, and tell them Z-Bird sent you. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Greenfield's Finest Podcast. We're about to jump into what's grinding our gears. Johnny, get us kicked off with what's grinding your gears. This whole episode's been a gear grinder. This whole yeah. thing. I'm so stressed <laughs> out right now. <laughs> Where do you want me to start? I, Good, can't even, I can't even go to my real life gear grinders. 
No, uh, do you ever have like somebody like say like I'll get back to you like you you ask them to do something but you kind of need their answer and they're like dude I'll let you know this day and I'm like dude you're kind of handcuffing me because if you can't come then I'm fucked yes. I, I need a backup right and I don't have I, I'm not gonna it, it, and that's such an asshole move to like hey I called this dude but if he can't make it like. Do you want to come, or can you do this? Right. Because you're just letting someone else know that you're the second option, which is yeah. like that an, an asshole thing to do. Right. So they're make they're making you be a dickhead when you're just trying to get an answer. Right. I need an answer. All right. Well, dude, I'm gonna look for somebody else. You know what I mean? And then if they nobody can go, then I'll ask you again. Like, he, like if like I ask you to go like a penguin game, and you're like. I, I don't know. I can't really let you know to an hour before. Well, if you can't fucking go, dude, then I'm going Just to the game by no. myself. Yeah, yeah. Hour, like all right, like, you got to call. Some, I, let me know an hour. Hour's reasonable time. Yeah. An hour before is not. Right. What do you know? <laughs> what do you think? I'm gonna eat nachos and fucking drink beers by myself. I've gone to games by myself. Like a before. fucking psychopath. I've done it. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, went down there, got a little permanent sandwich, and just doop, doop, doop. be bopped around <laughs> a little bit. around a little bit, felt like a real loser. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the, that's a depressing scene. It is. <laughs> Would you go to a movie by yourself after that? <laughs> you see, I don't, I don't mind that. That's something I used to do. What, go well, to a movie by yourself? Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. I've done that. It, it was. That's not. Be it, I feel like. It, yeah, I like that. It's just it's it's. I feel like it's different than a penguin game. It's like dark. You know, I mean, once you get in there, like no one really gives a fuck. You can be fuck. depressed by yourself. Yeah, the lights are on. The lights are on down at the igloo. <laughs> right. No, but it's good. You like move. You run into somebody else. You know, like hey, John, who yeah, you down here with? Like, uh, nah, like Johanna's in the bathroom. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> All right, gotta go. Bye. <laughs> Uh, like we're sorry, you're blasting. <laughs> Hope you're getting home. All right. Yeah, my driver is in the bathroom. Like I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for Carl. <laughs> yeah, or people just like 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 or people like don't give you an answer because they're waiting for something better to come along and see if like it's just like, dude, yes or no? Right. Yes or no? Like I'm not sure. I'll take it. I'm not sure as a no. Right. We'll get back to you in case I, maybe I'll look for somebody else. How about that? How about that? I should have never called you first. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Surely, what he got? All right. So. uh I just went on a road trip to uh, Annapolis, right? And uh, I drove, you know, it, it, it's, it, like I said, I, I made great time. But the the thing that drives me crazy is when you're in the fucking left lane, you're trying to pass people up and you come up and that dude's doing like, you know, it's speed limit's like 70, they're doing like 55. And it just bottlenecks the whole fucking highway. And like you have, you have trailer, like semi trailers passing you up and this dude is just like, no. <laughs> Idea that he's destroying the whole fucking my whole time blows my mind because yeah. like there's a slow lane get to the right and like you can but go like, when, 50. when I'm in your ass and like high beaming you that means like move over yeah you dude, know should have pulled the Johnny Burns oh uh, I can lay on the horn and just go like this <laughs> 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 I, I wish I would have known that maneuver because it was driving me crazy my dad's like what do you got anger issues I'm like I, our time is phenomenal yeah. this dude don't is, let me. Don't if I make bad time, Jack's never gonna let me hear yeah, the end of it. Like, dude, like he made it a thing now. Yeah. So I, I gotta fucking live up to it. But so I was like going all the way to the fucking right, like far right lane, and just blowing past everybody. And working your way back over. Yeah, and it, and it was like you guys are idiots. Like why why is this dude? Sometimes you gotta take him on the outside. Why is this guy yep. leading the pack? Sometimes Who's this? I'll take you on the right if I got yeah, to. I'll, uh, I'll go right. Oh, uh, dude, I, I was, I'll go right and work all the way back in. Everybody in the car was sleeping, dude. When we were on the way down, and I was fucking floating. When you're on, on trips back. like that, you get crazy, like fake races in your mind. <laughs> uh, it's like I just kept thinking of Burns, like nobody's passing us, and yeah. that's all I kept thinking. You take it on as like a challenge, you yeah. Know what I mean? It keeps it keeps you like keeps your mind in it. You oh, know you're know sharp. I mean? You yeah, stay sharp. You, absolutely. It's like you're fucking playing in a football game. Yeah, when like you're it. passing each car, you just yeah, you're like oh, look yeah. at this fucking. <laughs> Look at this fucking loser. Yeah. Are you fake shifting, him. John? Yeah. Dude, I hope I put my hand on it. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Maybe, maybe like, make a fake NOS sound like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My, my dad's in a, He's riding shotgun. He's like, Subaru. Yeah. <laughs> like, that, that's a, I know. Yeah. I know yeah. exactly yeah. what you mean, Dad. Yeah. Like, Don't get me started on those. Every time. <laughs> yeah. oh. Oh, is, uh, is your dad having, having some whiskey on the road now? Shotgun? No, no, no. Nah. He, he was very good. Uh, he had he had a vape though. So uh, oh, nice. He was getting stoned on the ride. Yeah. Uh, so. that's fucking a good time. It was good though, dude. It was. I made great. I mean, Jack. I'm, I'm Stopped, happy. I'm happy to hear Greenfield's finest podcast. We'll go against yeah. any other podcast in the world when it comes to time. Well, I'm going to Columbus next week, and I'll let you know. 
I, I better book a trip just to see if I can <laughs> keep keep fucking, you know what I mean? Keep, keep all down. my P's and Q's. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to get game, rusty. Keep Make a game practice tight. run. Yeah. <laughs> what are you laughing? Like, dude, you saw my time. You were there. <laughs> yeah, I didn't say it was great time. Great time. <laughs> I can't laugh at the podcast anymore. What are we going to be angry no, over that? that? I mean, he's all fired up. Yeah, this, you this, laughing this, at my this, time? Cut yeah. off and having a good time over here. Not bothering anybody. This has been a hot, this has been an intense fucking podcast. for the greatest finest podcast. We're going to fight after this. That grooming shit threw me off. That was tough to talk talk about for a while <laughs> it's like jesus christ get me out of this <laughs> zebra what do you got dude uh my my lady she's been watching uh the walking dead she loves that show i don't mind it whatever she's just started watching it she's watching episode after episode after episode so i get home from work yesterday and she's watching like a couple episodes i don't care i'm like watch it good i don't care the game don't come on to wait she's like oh, all right she watches one last episode she's like, i'm gonna go take a shower i'm like cool now i can watch my show the wire so I'm like, all right, watch the wire, put it on. She gets out of the shower pretty quick. Next thing I hear is, <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Dude, her hair dryer has like a fucking 25 horsepower engine, dude. Like a I speedboat. Dude, I sent it that to you mm-hmm. like 11 seconds. You can't hear the TV. All you hear is, Nee-! She knows she's doing that. And dude, she has to have the dryer. Is she upstairs? Yeah. And you're downstairs. Yeah. She has to have the driest hair of all time right now. <laughs> just frying her hair out of spite. She's just fucking waving that thing around like a helicopter, <laughs> twisting it around her head, fucking hitting shit, you know what I mean, drying off the tub. I'm like, dude, who takes as long to dry her hair? It was going on so long, I fucking audio took it. I'll give it to Todd so he can play it through her thing. And I sent it to Jack. It's 11 seconds of just, I don't say shit. And she comes back down. She's like, are you enjoying your show? I was like, ah, well, I couldn't hear 37 minutes of it because you were (laughs) drying your hair with a fucking high-octane jet engine. That's going to be illegal in California, (laughs) sir. Right. What is that? Dude, you should have walked there. So her door was open. Yeah. Did you think of, she, dude, here, you should have just went up there, looked at her, and pulled the door shut. Yeah. She got I, a that Hemi. Was a, that was the move, but I, that happened. I was Some like, real passive aggressive shit. Yeah. That's always healthy in a relationship. Yeah, I was just yeah. like, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you got you to get in when you can, man. That's, that's what you got to do. But I was like, oh, this is for me what, making her watch me play Madden all those times. <laughs> oh, fuck. I got a gear grinder. I actually got two here. Uh, one, I fucking. I don't. I don't want to say I hate it. It makes me uncomfortable. I never know how to react when people like you're not really friends with, or like acquaintances with, or like just met, and like they're saying bye to you and they say they love you. Like oh, love you. I never know what to say back because I, 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 the words I love you physically can't come out of my mouth to like, a, like just. I, I just feel so awkward and so uncomfortable. That I just I would say oh see you later or just like you know I completely ignore it uh, yeah yeah and it's just like man I really w- like why are you saying that to me like you don't like you don't like you don't, don't yeah <laughs> and like all like even like on ESPN or other podcasts like guests that I know they like haven't met each other before like all right I love you guys and like they'll be like, like the one dude today was like oh you too and he was, yeah oh, you kind of got to hit him with that it's real it's awkward just, I get the you too I can't even like bring that like dude why are we like why are we saying this to each other like we shouldn't be saying this to each other it's yeah. making me very uncomfortable dude you, <laughs> you're throwing that word around dude you know bit. you know what's awkward I, I don't know if you look like uh, some reason in the morning like oh uh, not some reason I'll put on 100.7 and like cause I'm gonna hear some music and it's like Baba every guest I love you that's yeah. That's fucking weird. It's dude. fucking weird, Bubba. You, you don't even know. It's though. fake. It's just a. It's just a yeah, caller it's just calling like a in. Fake, like it, it's fake. It's no shit. Like it's just like just awkward. Don't get me started on him. Well, you should call yeah. in and he'll say I love you. You're like shut up. Yeah, you know you don't. STFU. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it just always makes me like. It just makes me. Some people real loose with the I love you. They yeah. are. It's just just thrown around. Like they, they were they were saying it to everybody there, and I'm like, this. So now it's like the, it's just really like it's really awkward. <laughs> I don't say it unless I mean it. I don't. know. Yeah, same. I don't yeah. know. Like, do you it, love me or are you in love with me? <laughs> are you just saying bye? How many days have we been on the island? <laughs> <laughs> Fifth day, I'm in love. Like, with just you. talking about it now is making me uncomfortable. Uh, and then I got another one here. This is just I, I might have done this one before. Just the packaging and dress shirts. Like, what the fuck's going on there, dude? Like, <laughs> the pins. The pins. Yeah, pins. It's like, 2020. They're that, cardboard. That's the hell, paper. That's held to iron, the plastic. Too. Well, I was taking it to the dry cleaner uh, uh, just because I didn't want to deal with the iron. Wow. You know what I mean? So, like, I was taking my suit there anyhow. Big shot. So, I just figured, <laughs> I just figured like, I'll skip the... My, I got to go to a wedding on Friday. Everything will be ready to go. I don't got to worry about it. That's so, that's what I, what I, I, that's too, what I yeah. usually do. And... uh 
and I'm like, I'm, before I go in, I'm like taking all the shit. I'm like in the parking lot. I'm like firing these pins across the parking lot. It's like, what the fuck? What uh, are we doing here, dude? There's there? a there's a lot, dude. I got screwed. I, we went to Rico's for my dad's 70th birthday. I'm like, I'm gonna pull out a new shirt. I bought this shirt a while ago. Express, dude. So I'm like taking all the shit off, rip the tag off. I look, they fucking left the uh, security tag. Security tag on. Oh. Yeah, it sucks. It did suck. Yeah. I did wonder you, where did you get on there. I didn't have time. Like yeah. I was just, oh, like, you're I, just getting ready. I'm hot yeah. out of the shower. Yeah. You know, some bulk what, what the shirt look like? Was it was it a black fucking one like I had? No, <laughs> no, it was like navy blue with like little. I don't know. It was a cool shirt. Just trying to rock it. Yeah. Now, like I, I mean, Johanna was like, "They'll be able to rec- you know, realize I because I, I was like ripping all the tags off and everything. Like yeah, right. Go through that whole process, and then I'm like, mother, f- like what am I supposed to do? You know, like I'm like, well, they're gonna think I stole the shirt. She's like, no, they they should have your credit card on file. They'll know you bought. I'll figure it out one way yeah. or the other. Yeah, that's always a kick in the dick when that happens. Yeah, but that's. Like, I feel like that used to happen a lot back in the day. I think oh, yeah. when, it, when they were like when it was like newer, <laughs> when that was like a newer thing when yeah. those tags were going on shit. Man, that's how old we are. Mm. I remember when there was a security tags on shirts. But yeah, it just depends in the cardboard and the in the paper. It's just too much. It makes no sense. You're worried about emissions in California. Let's, we're, we're wasting fucking trains. Pins, that's yeah. <laughs> steel we're losing in yeah. pins, dude. I got. I mean, especially the cuff pins. I've gotten stabbed. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And then. Yeah, then I would I fucking I put one pin in my pocket and I went to sit down Ooh. and I almost sat on it and I was like, dude, this could have been a major thing. <laughs> yeah, your white shirt has now a red spot in it. Why, yeah, now, why, now I'm bleeding. Yeah, why is that? Like, what, I mean, that's really put that. Sometimes they like switch those plastic little like yeah, clips. Express like, the classic. Do they even need like what do they need to do all that for? You can't just fold it and put it in a fucking like, f- right, Ziploc yeah. bag that you sell it in. <laughs> sure, that's all you need to do. I don't get it. It's fucking dumb. Seems like a big There's got to be a reason that they use that much to keep it that tight. I don't it, know. it probably started that way back in the day. I could see this starting back in like the 20s and 30s, and it just never changed. It's no one's addressing it. Maybe that that should be our thing. We protest. Yeah, we should go. <laughs> we is. should go. Yep, yeah, here we go. We'll get some signs going on the waterfront. Just put it Fuck. on a freaking hanger. Just ruin everybody's weekend. We'll take my, yeah, my shirt, my choice. Well, <laughs> I, I kind of like I kind of like the plastic because it keeps it, especially like on a white dress shirt, dude. But like, all right. So like I get the plastic, but like the rest of it doesn't make any fucking sense. Stupid. Keep your pens. My <laughs> shirt, my choice. <laughs> right, I like let's take it. a little break here, Z Bird. <laughs> All right, everybody. We're gonna take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back to wrap up Greenfield Times podcast. If you're like me, I bet you have the same opinion. Are you sick and tired of smoking hot chicks and delicious chicken wings? Well, I know I am. So if you are too, make sure you stay away from bootleggers over in Oakland at 403 Semple Street. Because all it is is delicious chicken wings, cheap drinks, and smoking hot bartenders. That's bootleggers at 403 Semple Street over in Oakland. Over or not. Are you in the market right now for buying a house? Maybe in the market for selling a house. Have you heard about Carlson and Associates Real Estate Services? If you haven't, maybe you should check them out. They're located right here locally in Pittsburgh at 106 South 18th Street in Southside. A lot of people think that they only service the Southside, but that's not true. They handle all the Pittsburgh area, and they also handle property management too. So if you're looking for a good real estate company that's locally owned and locally ran, call Carlson and Associates Real Estate Services at 412-431-1718. That's 412-431-1718. And tell them Z-Bird sent you. Hey, everybody. Just to let you know real quick, Carlson & Son Real Estate now does notary. If So if you need your will, trust, advanced directive, executorship, custody, guardianship, power of attorney, or court documents notarized, contact Carlson & Son Real Estate. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Are you sick of your general contractor having sex with your wife? Well, I was too, and that's when I find out about Schaefer Inc. Schaefer Inc.'s primary goal is to deliver unbeatable quality for all your construction needs. They aim to firstly be a company principle driven and to achieve this, the importance is ethical business practices. That includes great work and not having sex with your wife. Please check out Schaefer Inc. for all your contracting needs. Give them a call at 412-915-1694. That's 412-915-1694. Hey, what's going on, everybody? If you're having car problems right now, there's not really too many places to go that you can trust. One place you can is Meineke Car Care Center, located at 4103 Kennywood Boulevard, West Mifflin. They handle everything, not just oil changes, but brakes, maintenance, everything. So if you need, if you have car trouble and you need help, make sure you call Meineke Car Care Center, 4103 Kennywood Boulevard, West Mifflin, phone number 412 451 8968 and ask for Arthur. 
Hey, what's going on, everybody? I don't know if you ever had a problem like me, but if you've ever stuck your dick in the light socket, you're probably going to need an electrician. Well, good thing Greenfield Finest Podcast has Plug Electric as our official electricians of the Greenfield Finest Podcast. If you're looking for a good electrician, contact Plug Electric. Ask for Vance Hall, phone number 412-298-6770. That's 412-298-6770. And stop sticking your dick in the light socket. Hey, if you're looking for a fun night out in the south side and you don't want to get punched in the face... Check out Finn McCool's at 1501 Carson Street. Go there, have a good time, and don't get punched in the face. Finn McCool's, 1501 Carson Street, and tell them Z-Bird sent you. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Greenfield Science Podcast. Real quick announcement. Uh, we have a comedy show coming up November 6th. Tickets are available online right now at CompTraTheater.com. That's November 6th. It's going to be myself, Anthony Shuley will be in the building, uh, our buddy Trey McDonough is hosting, Jeff Conkle from WDV will be there, and Matt Light will be headlining. So grab those tickets for our show November 6th at Comptra Theater. Now we're about to jump into what would Greenfield do? What would Greenfield do? Whoop, whoop. Would you eat at the Browns Hill Road IHOP five days a week for a year? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You got to go to this place five days a week for seventy-five grand at the end of the year. So you don't have to pay for the food. Mm-hmm. Food's free. You got to go there That's Monday, eat, Monday, <laughs> Monday through Friday. You got to eat IHOP. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. End of the year, you get a check for seventy-five grand. Can I eat and on people, the side? People that aren't familiar with this IHOP. It is the wild, wild west. <laughs> Literally anything could happen in there. I've been there five times. I think total in my life, three out of five times the police were involved there. <laughs> there's been fights. There's been people like running around, like customers Stabbings. in the kitchen. Uh, it's just completely out of control. The whole staff's on drugs. Uh, <laughs> people start cooking their own food the one time I was in there. It was fucking, it's nuts. So would you do it? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I mean, seventy five k. Yeah, I would. I would can, now, here's the thing: Can you bang them out? Like, say, can no. I go in there at seven, bang out my breakfast, go back at ten, get my lunch, bang it out two o'clock, get my dinner? Do I have to be there? You have to eat like you normally. I would. Eat. I would eat, but I'm just saying, like, if I could bang it out like in those three increments, like, and keep it a shorter span, so I'm not there like back and forth all day. From like seven a.m. to five o'clock. Well, you'd have to still work. But can you? Uh, but can you, you know what I mean? So, like, you'd have to go. Go for breakfast. Can you eat other places also, like including that? If you want, but I'm saying you're gonna have a you belly. Eat? You're gonna have a belly full of IHOP. Uh, it's gonna run right through you, like Jim shit the wild man. Yeah, so. and you're but yeah. Be- on the weekends, you could take it off and like mix in a salad. I mean, you get a salad there. You don't have there. You, you, you can eat find, their salad, I mean, dude. I don't want to eat anything. <laughs> but they're seventy five. Seventy five grand. I probably would. Year. I would do it. Yeah, yeah I absolutely. could use the seventy five grand. Seventy five grand's a nice chunk of change. It would. I mean. The, the, the food aside, just like the environment you're putting yourself in. Dude, you might, you I've seen some crazy it. shit I've seen there, some dude. crazy shit You might shit not even there. make it that long. Dude. Yeah. I've, got, I've got up and walked out of there. I've probably been there five times, too. I've probably got up and left twice. Yeah, I've been there five. <laughs> I left twice, and there was the police were there the other three times. Uh, I honestly don't think I could. I don't think I would make it. I think it would break me. It would be like going to like jail for a little bit. Like All right, like right, I would try it, but like after like – Two to three weeks, like the I don't think I could deal with like the insane asylum that that place is. Yeah, I think one day a week would be like hard. It would right. suck. No, not one day a week, but like once, once a, a day. day. Yeah. yeah, once a day would suck. Like, damn, I, dude, yeah. I, I three would days, pay yeah. for you guys' dinner three just days, to come with me. And then like you're dealing 15, with that, you're dealing with that horrible service. Like you're just dealing with everything that so, comes so, along so with it. So there's it's no not like you're gonna, meal. There's no special treatment. You got to deal with the environment <laughs> that that place be, is. You got to be the IHOP. If it's still though, as bad as it is for seventy five grand, I would. Do I'd it. give it a swing. I would yeah, give it a man. swing too. Yeah. But yeah, I, I honestly, I don't think I'd be able to complete it. I think I could. You know, once once your stomach gets used to that fucking. I, I don't think the food would the be food. the issue. It's the it's the fucking. It's, dude, I told you about like the last. Can I wait? Can I wear a bulletproof vest? <laughs> no, that's different. Sure, wear whatever you want. Yeah. Wear whatever All you right. want. It's just I think it would mentally break me. <laughs> yeah, because you'd be waiting. For, there'd be some days you'd literally probably waiting two hours for your food to come out. You wouldn't get it sometimes. By that chick, they're going to beat up by her boyfriend sitting in booth two. 
<laughs> I mean, dude, he's, anything. He's sitting in the booth just watching her. Yeah. Her. Like if she if she's taking too, her tips. If he's she's like, too friendly to like a customer, dude, like, he raises up on like, She's oh. like, Can I refill your spread? He's like, Would you flirt with him? Yeah. <laughs> dude, I was literally there the one time. And it was like after it was late. It was probably like three in the morning. And our food was taking forever. And this group of dudes just go in the back like customers and they're back there and i'm like bro what the fuck is going on and like i hear a commotion so i like peek my head in and like they were just cooking their own food in the fryers and there was like one one person that actually worked there i'm like oh we gotta go dude. like you should be like dude we throw me in some here. wings yeah it was uh it, it's just it's an incredible place i can't believe it's still open it just literally blows my mind me and risotto front. me and risotto went in there one day this chick Looks like something happened to her the night before. She wasn't in good shape, and she comes to the table. It took twenty minutes to get the water, and then we just like look like let's get the fuck. That's out what of I here. mean. Like, <laughs> let's go. I like, don't know how you could I, like, li- like listen. I, I would give it a shot, but like yeah. I don't, mentally, I don't think I'd be able to. It, it would break me. There's yeah, no, walking into uh, that hellhole. How many? Yeah. How many days, dude? On fucking. I'd be I better. Hop, I, I hop island. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Literally, probably. Probably close to like a month, and I think I finally I be like, I, I can't fucking do this days. anymore. Because <laughs> I don't think that's something like you would get used to either. Because like, nah. there's so many, different. so many different elements that could happen, different like scenarios that could fucking ruin your day. Yeah, I don't know. I was I was at the dry cleaners, and I just like looked at that place, and for some reason that popped in my head. I was like, oh, I gotta go with Green will do. All right, I got another one here. Would you <laughs> would you make out with a goat, but no one knows you made out with a goat? Or this is a would you rather. Would you rather make out with a goat and nobody knows you made out with a goat or not make out with a goat, but everybody thinks you French kissed a goat? Uh, so you ki- French kiss the goat, <laughs> no one knows about it, but you, you French the goat. Or you never French kiss a goat, but everybody, but you're known as like the guy that French kissed yeah, the goat. Th- that's even worse. I would rather just French the goat and uh, like, that's it. It's between me and the goat. <laughs> yeah. That's no, not just call, you me, gotta, you call gotta, me the goat fucker, dude. I, yeah, I, really? I, I can handle that. I mean, I, but that's everywhere you go. They're gonna be like, "Here goes goat fucking." Charlie. Yeah, it's not like just your friends. It's like it's like you go. Everybody, you, knows. you walk in the eye hop, and they're like, "Oh, there's the old." Ch- hide goat your fucker. goats. Hide your wife. Hide your goats. <laughs> <laughs> He's was, out here fucking everything. <laughs> there was a dude in Hazel we used to call sheep fucker, and I keep wanting to say sheep fucker instead of goat fucker. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is not too far off. You're kissing it. You're definitely. I mean. Yeah, there's definitely like. I'd be scared to kiss a goat. It'd probably right. bite your face. Yeah, bite your yeah, bite your lip off. No, John, you don't have to put your penis in his mouth. <laughs> so what are you doing, John? Are you, you kissing that goat? Is it like, I don't have to fuck the goat? <laughs> no, I'm saying if, like, people think you kissed the goat, you know what I mean? You kissed the goat. Oh, you right, yeah. Your your nickname isn't going to be Goat Kisser. It's going to be Goat Fucker. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I mean, what are you is doing? Is that what you want, truly? Yeah, I don't want that smoke. I'd probably just give him a little so- <laughs> Yeah, I'd probably just tongue that goat. And, yeah. no, and no one knows about it. Nobody just knows about it. And then you get t- then you got a funny story for the podcast too. Like, dude, I was put in this fucking situation. You never believe it. <laughs> this guy <laughs> had a gun to my head, and he said he kissed like, the goat. I wrong. feel like people wouldn't make fun of you as much about it if you said you, you did it. You know, it'd be, it'd be funny for a day. Yeah. But then if you if, sure, you're, if you're if you're so always denying, if you're always denying, it, like, dude, I don't even kiss that. I yeah. should have just kissed that goat. Yeah, yeah. If yeah, you yeah. accept it like a man, you're just like, dude, listen, <laughs> things go out of hand. I kissed the goat, dude. It's like, oh, you're fucking nuts, dude. Three days yeah, maybe later. we go viral. You yeah. guys swayed me. You guys yeah. swayed me on that. I, yeah, I'll just. Yeah, you got to yeah. tongue that goat. Yeah, why not? All right, last one. You only get one shot. We're talking basketball here. One shot. You get to pick what you want to do. <laughs> Lay up fifty thousand dollars. Free throw a hundred k. Top of the key half a mil. Three pointer from the wing. Seven hundred and fifty. Corner three pointer one million dollars. Which one you taking, Z Bird? I'm gonna take the free throw. Free because, throw for a hundred grand. I feel like that's someone I have the best chance of making. Like, well, the layup, but I'm taking a free throw. Free throw. Yep. Pretty confident in those free throws. Yeah. All right, Julie, what do you got? I, I would go the same free, free throw. I'm not. I'm not a basketball uh, basketball guy. That's maybe the best one I could come away with. You're just not. I mean, you got to figure a layup, fifty grand. That's pr- it's free money. I mean, don't get me wrong. Fifty grand. Fifty grand for the layup, a hundred grand for the free throw, uh, half a mil for top of the key three, wing three pointer seven hundred fifty k, which I feel like that's the hardest one, or a corner three pointer oh. one million. Wait, is the the wing is that the like, wing's just the side, like so like the right wing, there, right? You know what, dude? You like tips, like where you shoot, if you're playing tips, thinking, that's I, where you're shooting from. I'd probably taken that back. I'd I'd shot it from there because like playing tips, I'm I wasn't bad at tips. 
We'll I'm give to- you I'm we'll top g- of the key. Top of the key? Top of the key for a ha- half milli? Yeah, dude. I'm a street baller. Uh, I'm a problem in the corner. I've always been a problem in the corner. <laughs> I'm taking that million dollar shot. That's literally where I'm like most money from. So that's where I'm chalking it from. Everybody knows when you're hooping with me, don't leave me in the corner. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna make you pay for it. So everybody knows. Everybody too. When I if I go down the gee tonight and fucking play, like, hey, don't leave Jack in that corner because he's gonna stand there all night and just light us up. Because that's what I've done for years, and that's what I continue to do. I literally seen this question. And I just wanted to get to that so I could talk about how, <laughs> how money I am from the corner. <laughs> Ask anybody about it. Joe will tell you. I'll hit him up later. Well, all right, everybody. Thanks so much for tuning in this week. Have a great week, folks. Oh. And remember. Oh, hold on. I got to say happy uh, birthday. My girls are going to be seven oh. on Thursday, man. Uh, happy birthday, happy Gemma birthday. and Javina. Yeah. Seven years old. Yeah, you believe You're that? Getting... Teenagers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They are. All grown up. Time to move out, kids. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Get a job. Get My it. niece is five. She was just ignoring me the other day like she was 13. I was like, dude, I'm not... what's going on here? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're being very rude. <laughs> <laughs> Who raised you? Yeah, for someone, to... <laughs> someone spends as much money as I do on Christmas for you. You better start talking to me. <laughs> you better straighten up. Yeah, <laughs> they would realize that if they a piece of shit uncle that's what they need like it's uh, like i remember oh, i had I an uncle said, that would gave me a good nothing, uncle and a bad and uncle, i had a good yeah. uncle that like always gave me gifts and like believe me you'll appreciate the uncle's gifts yeah and then <laughs> i even i was like oh you don't gotta talk to me that's all right santa's coming soon and she just rolled her eyes at me doubled down on it i'm like Pfft. she'll probably start being re- real nice to me in November. is he coming is yeah. he coming i don't know yeah. Like, who, who are you kidding? You're going like, to buy You know I have no his phone what. number, right? Yeah. After Thanksgiving, she'll be your buddy. I roll, dude. She's mm. ruthless. <laughs> Warrior, win. have a great week. And remember, folks, Greenfield loves you.